You were picking on a guy weaker than you, weren't you, Jim? I might say it's because you're a loser who's playing to an audience of children. I'd like to join your posse, boys, but first I'm going to sing a little song. <laughs> <laughs> You have a bully cabal that you have created. A bully to cabal. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Outer heaven. Of what, you you call it? what else would you call it? Uh, I'd call it the sweetest I, lie I, that we spread to hug the love across the internet. Bullshit. You know that's not true. You know what you should do. What about uh, name the bully? No. Name the bully for thing. <laughs> bully hunter will help you. You you don't want to build a wall. Instead, you want to use you want to use a military approach and run sorties over drug cartels. Sure, and work with Mexico to rebuild its country. Yeah, sure. If we're gonna invest money into something, why not in making Mexico better so that a bunch of fucking people don't run away from that country into ours? Okay. <laughs> That's brilliant. This is like the ultimate condescending argument from somebody that's never have ever been in a shitty position in their entire life. Like I can't even believe you don't that know somebody. Who the fuck you're talking I don't. You can't. You can't either that or you lack zero empathy or have zero intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not part of your lying, doxing, harassing teenage fan club. I'm someone doing something in real life. And I have an army of mercenary children wreaking havoc on web forums from here to hell and back. You understand I'm a person, don't you? <laughs> Do you think white people act like this? White people are meant to be polite and respectful to one another, and you guys can't even act like white people. It's really, like, amazing to me. Jim, it's people like you that need to get a bullet to the head. Because you're promoting hatred, bigotry. Oh, oh, is it bigotry oh, against pedophiles? Pedophobia. It's pedophobia. Your low rent, low IQ trash. I was 100% right to call you a religious bigot. It's what you and your fans are. But as a white person who is male, you're never told that there's anything you can't do. You have no idea what it's like to be told you're not supposed to do that. That's not the kind of job for you because the sky is the fucking limit. <laughs> What I was saying was that there's this YouTuber that I admire very much, that um, I used to admire, but I realized that his game is to punch down. But he always mocks people who are weak, who are small. I can't stand the big guy who bullies me, or tries to bully me. There is a toxicity that has developed in among gamers. Okay. All right? It is actually, it feels somewhat fascist in the way it's working <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> okay hold on <laughs> there we go hey kids it's time to have fun
Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, it, you know, d- just a tweet that mentions the hashtag game again. It, it, it doesn't even necessarily matter how he uses it. Man, the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking hats. It's 2019. I can't believe anybody believes me. I'm a silly fucking ball of water. True. I bet you when Jim finds out, he's gonna just give me so much shit. One never knows when the homosexual is about. I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life, 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. I aim as well as possible. I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese. I would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl. I said it's not even hot. You are not allowed to bring her to the hospital. No. No, you get no permission to fucking do it. You gotta be kidding. It's, it's just like this declaration. This declaration, right, of male dominance. Uh, put that in your pipe. I definitely cheated on Super Mario with Sonic the Hedgehog. Stop doing this stuff. He's like the blue uh, seductress who takes me out into the night and does wonderful things to me. Enough! Stop! <laughs> How can a Yorkshire Terrier live in the wild? <laughs> it's in plain sight, but you just don't see it. You know what I mean? Well, happy Catterday, or Easter weekend, or Trans Day of Remembrance. I'm not sure what we're going by right now. I know the president signed some special laws in place, so that must mean (laughs) that Jesus is actually a woman now. Round of applause for America. Jesus Christ is a beautiful woman. Thank you, Joe Biden. I know this Sunday when it comes up, I'm going to put a little skirt on him. (laughs) 
<laughs> on this hollowed holly or uh, <laughs> hollowed holy day. And remember him just like just like we should in a pretty little dress. Praise <laughs> praise the government for desecrating our religions. Oh boy. Now I'm waiting for Biden to do that with with something Islamic. Let's see if he's brave enough. I don't think if he declares an Islamic holiday a trans day of remembrance, things are gonna go so well. It's a hunch. It's an it's a itsy bitty hunch. I have to apologize. You know, today I was gonna have a stream that was gonna be divided up into about three or four subjects. I was gonna introduce you to some funny, funny things. One of them was a TikToker who's insane. Believes he's in a relationship with a woman, went on a cross-country road trip as he fought off his nefarious trolls. Very entertaining. Very, very entertaining. The other man, who I won't refer to by name because I don't want him trying to turn me into pepperoni. He's out there haunting all the little stalker children and sending them to prison. Also a very funny story. One of the only people on the internet I think that's ever actually had to pay his bully money. So fucking stupid. Such a dumb, dumb motherfucker that he actually lost a lawsuit to his own bully and then had to pay that bully $80,000. How the fuck you do that is beyond me. I've watched about five documentaries on it and read multiple forum posts, and I still can't really wrap my head around it. How exactly, <laughs> how exactly does somebody have to pay their bully money? But he did it. Our little pepperoni fiend did it. So I had those two lined up, and then I had a little bit about Boogie, too, because apparently Boogie's got a lot of shit shaking down right now. Apparently he's also dying. Everybody's stealing my gimmick. They're taking my bit to sell hats, motherfuckers. I'm looking at you, Boogie. I'm looking at you, Ninja. All right. You know, I know what's up. Stealing stealing my grift out there trying to see saw the, the money I'm making off hats. You motherfuckers had to run in and ring the bell. So I had all that lined up. But the main focus, the main thrust of the stream was burying a motherfucker today. Welcome to the Yagoogly of Mersh, Mr. Mershtastic, the cat thief. Oh, floppy tits. We were going to talk about floppy tits. He was going to be one of four subjects, three other subjects. Nice little funny Easter celebration. But then I started to notice something. Mersh started to spaz out multiple days, day after day after day after day of seething ass pain. Just unbelievable ass pain. Now, we've watched a little Mersh over the last year and a half. I've shown clips, a five-minute segment there, uh, ten minutes here. It's really, you know, kind of divided up, spread out, but Mersh kept going day after day. He even hedged his bets a little bit today because I think he's a little nervous. Now, if you're unfamiliar, we're going to go... <laughs> we're, listen, it's going to be a weird vibe, doing this Mersh shit and then infusing it with something fun like Tomlinson or, uh, you know, uh, uh, our, our psychotic TikToker or Boogie or anybody else. So I've decided to really dedicate this Easter cat stream to Mr. Mersh because he wants attention and I feel like giving him attention because he did something so monumentally fucking retarded that I can tie him to that being able to say the sentence that I'm going to say coming up is just so much, it's so worth it to me that I can't, I can't not do it. So we're going all Mersh today, baby. We're going all in on that cat thief motherfucker. <laughs> we're going to talk about Mersh. Now, Mersh has gone on for like two years incessantly that I am faking dying and I'm faking being sick. And he has really spiraled fucking into crazy town over the last like three or four days. So I thought I would just provide irrefutable proof to make him look fucking retarded and then point out something I don't even think in his in his arrogance, in his, his toxoplasmotic mind, that he noticed he did. And it's so funny to me, based on the fights that he's had and the things that he, you know, purportedly his ideologies, what he's done is so monumentally stupid. It's a, such a big fuck up um, that it brings me glee to point this out. So I would get comfortable because we've got a lot, we've got a lot of merch coming up. Now, I, I know, I know. How could, how could, how could our beautiful boy, look at him. Look at that physique. Just take a moment to really drink it in. This is Mersh. 
This is Mer this is like this is a typical day for Mersh, by the way. This isn't me fucking around. This guy lives in an apartment, and he wears a green screen suit all day long, and he does little cat theater. This is what he's a grown man. This grown man lives in an apartment, and he does cat theater. Now you may be asking, what is cat theater? What the fuck is cat theater mean, Jim? What does a grown man do when he engages in cat theatrics? Well, Marsh likes to green screen himself <laughs> with his fucking cats all day long and put on little plays. See, Marsh doesn't have family or friends. Rice threw him out of the house because he wanted to fuck his wife after eight years. So Marsh lives alone. So little Marsh runs around stealing cats. And then he puts on little cat theater shows. He's got little Bojangles. Now, he's, he calls them different names on streams, but I happen to know what their actual names are. Mr. Bojangles. Twisted Carl Links. I don't know why it's Twisted Carl Links, but that's the name of the cat. Mr. Bojangles, uh, Twisted Carl Links. And he puts on little shows in his little green screen suit all day long. The problem is, Mersh is so obese, you can tell from his physique, that the folds of fat create shadow zones. You can see his triangular pubic mound in the middle of the picture right there. His little T-Rex arms can't really reach it. But it creates a shadow. So when he tries to do these green screen effects in his cat theatrics as he recreates Disney movies by himself at midnight, and his little floating head is going all around, you just see little obscure bits and bobbles of his body. His triangular pubic bone, his four tits, the fat he somehow accumulated in the creases on the insides of his elbows, which is an accomplishment for a fat person. Really building up the adipose tissue there takes a lot of work. It's not muscle. It's Twinkies. So our boy here, and he's wearing sunglasses inside like all the cool kids do. Him, Ethan, Ralph. I don't know why that is. Not 100% sure what it is with grown men wearing sunglasses at midnight in their house as they play with cats. Imagine walking in on this shit. Imagine you're a whore. You're like a hooker. And some lonely guy, some fat incel who can't win in Vegas, calls you up because he saw your Craigslist ad. And he's like, I am so desperately horny. Nobody will touch me because my pubic mount is too tiny. You've seen my pictures. There's no penis there. It actually, it creates a, look at the shadow. There's no genitalia. It is a triangular pubic mound because the penis is inverted. <laughs> anyway, calls up the hooker. Hooker shows up and this is what she walks into. This is like one of those true crime podcasts, like uh, Coffee and Killers or whatever the fuck. You know, all, all those uh, coffee house killers, whatever they're called. You know, YouTube channels that go over the psychopaths that end up killing somebody in a 30, 40-minute format. This would be like a picture that would be shown on that. Like about 10 minutes into the video. And this is what she saw when she walked into the apartment. And it's just him holding a knife in a green screen suit with cats screeching all around him. Incessant screeching of cats. <laughs> okay. That's our merch. I just wanted to bring you up to date on who we're talking about. I'll give you a physical picture of what this guy looks like because we're going to see a lot of him sitting down. He doesn't get up a lot. He sits down quite a bit, so I wanted to give you a full body picture. Really let you take it all in. So it's been an interesting couple of days. And I've got some clips here of him being extraordinarily mad. So let's uh, let's get those queued up. We're going to go right through them. And then I'm going to do something really funny and just blow him out of the water so he just looks like a complete fucking retard. Because <laughs> that's entertaining to me. Of course, before I do that, I probably should chill because I'm a fucking whore. And I got this fancy little video. Oh, I got a fancy little video about my hats, hats for hats, and all that shit. Oh, boy. Well, you know what? We're going we're gonna to hold off on my hats for hats for a minute. We're going to go into... I've actually listed these as Mersh ass pain clips that I've stolen from somebody on Twitter who has a lot more patience than I do to clip them out. So this is how it started. This is clip number one. Trust me. Just pay attention to this because it's going to be funny for reasons Mersh doesn't understand. <laughs> it's going to be really, really funny for reasons this fucking moron doesn't understand. Okay, so this is uh, Mersh Asping number one. Let's cue it up. Have you guys seen the L's that Medicare has been taking lately? I put be These are a lot of L's, folks. Now, he's, he's pulling up a Twitter account. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Couldn't be me. But he's going to go over the L's that Medicare's taken. Let's take a look. Let's listen. Let's uh, listen in. Because he's been spurking about Ralph and a couple other people lately. And some of the things that have come out in Kino Casino and Hoffman. And I'm, look, by the way, I'm sure Hoffman has given Medicare money. 
I'll bet my reputation on it. Oh, he's, he's betting his reputation on a lot of things, really. There's a lot of things he's going to bet his reputation on. But I like that he brought up Gabe Hoffman to start with. Let's let's start there, because this is going to get funny for reasons you'll find out in a minute. So Gabe Hoffman's this Jewish dude who did this documentary about pedophiles, about hunting pedophiles. It's like a Jewish guy who hunts pedophiles. And Mersh hates him. Now, Mersh used to work with him. Got really friendly with him back in the days when he was doing Dan Schneider videos. You know, the Nickelodeon guy that's got the foot fetish. But uh, Mersh doesn't like him anymore now because Gabe Hoffman uh, apparently isn't a fan of Ethan Ralph and, you know, Ethan Ralph strangling women. <laughs> so uh, now he's on the shit list with Mersh. King Mersh doesn't like him. Oh, that Gabe Hoffman and his pedophile hunting. I really don't like that guy very much. Uh, but apparently I'm a part of the conspiracy. I work with Aquino Casino and Gabe Hoffman to um, do things. We'll find out. But I just, it's important you know who Gabe is. Trust me, it gets funnier. I've noticed a significant shift in uh, what we would call uh, sentiment towards Mr. Medicare. And just like Dan Schneider, it just feels like I was there, but I was there. You know what they always say, if you're right and you're early, it's basically like being wrong. So this is hours of him spurting tonight. This is Mr. Medicare, by the way. Don't we are gonna learn otherwise. Now, I want to, uh, uh, you know, entreat you all. Isn't that a fancy word? Listen to me using those big dollar, big boy words. Oh, I'm feeling so smirt tonight. I'll entreat you all to go check out that Twitter account and look at the spurging he's particularly talking about. Uh, the Twitter account he's referring to is Moshi Moshi Moan over on uh, Twitter. That's M-O-S-H-I-M-O-S-H-I-M-O-A-N. And he's talking about uh, uh, spurging out. And he's, he's showing this, this long conversation, these multiple conversations. I want you, when you get a chance, after I show you why this is really funny to me, to go look and verify that what I'm telling you is true, and this catastrophic fucking retard has done the dumbest thing imaginable. <laughs> he normally doesn't tweet this much, and if I were a man dying, I certainly wouldn't be wasting my time doing this, but it started um, 10 hours ago. Like, this is a lot of tweets, by the way. This is going to be a little rabbit hole, but I'm going to have another smoke in your honor, too, Medicare. At some point, another shot. I'm gonna crush this whole fucking decanter. Oh yeah, he's bringing out the fancy drinks, having a cigarette, getting excited. Now, you may be wondering, and this is something I need to point out: is Mersh has always started hostilities with me. I don't know why. I'm not the one firing shots across his bow. He just randomly jumps in and decides to do it. And so he randomly decided to jump in and do it here. So let's talk about why this is funny. Now, remember what he just said. He brought up Gabe Hoffman, a man that hunts pedophiles. And he brought up Dan Schneider, a man that's accused of being a pedophile. And he's talking about me spurging out on Twitter. Oh, oh, these people, boy, uh, you know, uh, Medicare's out there. He's sure arguing a lot of people. He's looking pretty silly. All oh, these anons are teaching him a lesson. Uh, what Mersh fails to recognize, perhaps, or what he's oblivious to in this particular conversation, what got him to start ranting about me for multiple days and cheerily these people on. The people that are being argued with on Twitter, he's cheering them on, liking their tweets. Now, there's one little thing that he forgot to bring up. Um, it's all related to... <laughs> oh, Jesus! He, he fucked up so bad! Holy shit! I don't even... I... <laughs> he fucked up! He fucked up so bad! Okay. Um, the arguments that were taking place here, the people he's cheerleading on, teaching me a lesson, um, they, they are satanic pedophiles. They're, they're satanic pedophiles. Mersh has decided to, to start coming after a dying man at the behest of satanic pedophiles. And I know you're thinking, there's no way. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell this dumb, fat, retarded fuck is actually doing that. Oh, God, yes, he is. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Let me introduce you to the people I was arguing with. You see, I was on Twitter one day arguing with a BDP whore. I like to call her Skeletor. I won't refer to her by her real name because she's an attention whore. She happens to be connected to a group of doctors, swatters, and pedophiles by the name of 764. She has a Discord full of people to defend her. They're also, apparently, through her, connected to 764. What's 764, you might ask? Well, here's a Wired article. Let's go take a look. There are dark corners of the internet. Then there's 764. A global network of violent predators is hiding in plain sight, targeting children on major platforms, grooming them, and extorting them to commit horrific acts of abuse. 
Listen to this. It sounds like cheap true crime conspiracy, an international network of predators steeped in Satanism, lure children from seemingly harmless online platforms like Discord, Minecraft, and Roblox, and extort them to sexually exploit and grievously harm themselves. Some victims are even pushed to suicide. Except, it's true. <laughs> Uh-oh! Oh, boy! Oh, God. oh, I don't feel so good, Mersh! Oh, shit, Mersh, I don't feel so good right now, Mersh! Oh, boy, something's not, no! Oh, God, no! So, Mersh is celebrating, clapping, cheering on the people I'm arguing with, and the people I'm arguing with are connected to satanic pedophiles. <laughs> He's cheering on satanic pedophiles. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, oh, that hurts a little bit, Mersh. Oh, I think you might hurt yourself today, buddy. Oh, holy fuck. Hey, hey, you know, God, that makes me think. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you don't like Gabe Hoffman for other reasons. You know, the Jewish guy that hunts down pedophiles. You know, if you're willing to cheer on 764, Mersh. I mean, they're cool, right? They're those anons teaching me a lesson. I'm spurging out having an argument with literal satanic pedophiles that you're applauding. Look at me spurg out against those sex offenders that like to you know, push preteens into suicide and uh, sexually exploit them for financial gain. That's been reported on by about 20 fucking different international newspapers. <laughs> you stupid fucking bastard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not looking so good, champ. It's a little hard for me. What, did you go after Dan Schneider, Mersh? Was it less that you hated him because he was, you know, into foot fetishism with children? Uh, you know, he's a creepy pedophile. Was it more just jealousy? Were you jealous of Dan Schneider, Mersh? Is that why you did all those videos on him? Because I'm confused. Why would you ever cheerlead on a group of people that openly admit they're a part or associate with or hang out in discords with people from 764, Mersh? I don't understand it. And all those uh, tweets that this particular person had where they bragged about it, being part of doxing and swatting, being connected also to tour swats, the people that swatted half the people in the sector, Mersh. You know, bragging openly about that. Uh, those are all archived. Those are all recorded. They're all they're all out there. There's it's irrefutable. There's no denying it. There's there's plenty of fucking logs to show it. And then there are little army of Discord simps that kiss their ass and come out and defend her every time somebody calls her out on associating with those people. But that's that's when you that's when you decided to jump in. At any point you could have jumped in, but this is a particular moment when the satanic pedophiles <laughs> when the satanic pedophiles show up, Mersh. That's when you decided to you know you're like, hey, I better go yell at Jim. He's arguing with satanic pedophiles. I can't say that enough. I can't say that phrase enough. Mersh of Revenge of the Sis. Attacking a dying man at the behest of satanic pedophiles. News at 11. <laughs> oh. You know, it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking in regards to all that cat love you've got. I mean, this is like a witch thing. I know Satanists and, ooh, all the spooky uh, supernatural stuff. Is that why you're so into cats? Are you stealing all those cats for your satanic rituals, Mersh? 764, what do the numbers mean? <laughs> I know that's a big number. That's like uh, septuple your usual viewing audience, but uh, apparently you didn't do any research on this one. What a dumb bastard. Holy shit. I, I can't believe it. Just, it kind of blows my mind. Like of all the things to jump in on, that's the one he jumps in on. But there's, you know, let's, let's let her go. Maybe he's got a brilliant, maybe he knows, maybe he knows more than we do. Let's, let's let him continue. I'm following you straight to hell. Just kidding. I'll be dead before you are. That's the ultimate win, isn't it? I mean, you're gonna win because I'll be dead before you are. But when it comes to being real, being true and telling people how I feel despite how it will affect my bottom line, or how it will affect like, oh God, how people perceive me. The difference is, you know what the difference is. Oh yeah, sure. Let me let me tell you what the difference is. Um, when I usually have a viewpoint, I stick to it. Like COVID, I haven't changed my mind on that. And God knows, you have cried about that for five fucking years, Mersh. You're a fair weather fuck. You'll change your your opinions and ideologies at the drop of a hat. Anything that gives a financial benefit to you, like how you tell people that streaming on YouTube is dog shit, and they're sellouts and they're working for the system, and yet that's where Nightwave is. 
I thought you were big, uh, big Buku dollars, big dick American money, making it over on Rumble with all the bots. Why are you even having any business over on YouTube? Mersh, I'm confused. Why aren't you over on Rumble where all the money is? I mean, that's a viewpoint that you hold true to, right? That you stick to. Oh, and you also hate pedophiles. Yeah, that is, unless you're cheerleading on the satanic ones that are arguing with me, <laughs> arguing with me on Twitter for some reason. But no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stick to something that people might change their mind on. I'm sure that COVID take I have is super popular, but I've stuck to it. You, on the other hand, one minute you're friendly with Gabe Hoffman, wanting to go after pedophiles. Next minute, all of a sudden you're cheerleading on 764. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm a little confused, but let's continue. Maybe he'll enlighten us. I tell people the truth. Oh, he's a truth teller. Even when I'm wrong. Get shit, Tucker. I've doubled down on being wrong on this fucking show. So once I'm dug in, I'm dug in. And I've been wrong about a lot of things, better girl. When it comes to you, I think. Oh, I think you're going to look like an asshole tonight, Marsh. <laughs> I think I'm going to bury you so deep you're never coming out of the dirt. I mean, you know, it's going to be hard for you to wag away and kind of shoo-shoo away the fact that you are, for whatever reason, associating with a group like 764 and, you know, have any kind comments about anybody that would openly brag about being a part of that group, uh, being a part of swatting and doxing and child exploitation. I'm very confused as to why you would think that was cool. Why you uh, would go to war with people that do documentaries and hunt down pedophiles. Very confusing to me. But you also are wrong about quite a lot of things, and we'll get. I, it's, I'm going to so, show such irrefutable proof of it that I, that you'll just have nowhere to retreat. That that you'll literally be known as the guy that attacked a dying man at the behest of satanic pedophiles. That that is that is the that is the subtitle to your show from now on. <laughs> You're so fucking dumb. History will prove, just like with the Schneider shit, that I was ahead of the curve. That I was on to you before anyone else was. The difference is that I show my face. I don't know if that's a difference to be proud of. How many camera lenses have you cracked? Your neighbors have to put their blinds up so they protect their fucking mirrors in the house. Oh shit, Mersh is showing his face again. Hide the glass, it's gonna crack. I show my face. He says wearing sunglasses in the house at midnight. I don't know. Why are you wearing those sunglasses? Could it be because your eyes are at two different fucking <laughs> nautical orientations? You're like some weird kind of insect. Instead of eye stalks sticking out so you could have a 360 rotation, they're trying to do it in the sockets. Now, believe me, I've had a medical emergency where my eye went all googly, but it fixed itself. Yours, on the other hand, have decided to stay permanently like that. Feel a little, little self-conscious about that? I don't know. I mean, he talked about hiring somebody to do a makeover. What sort of heterosexual man tells the internet he wants to do a makeover? Like, I could tell you that you need a fashionista to come in and tell you that uh, wearing T-shirts and five-day-old underwear is a bad idea. I mean, that's just kind of common sense. Jordan Peterson could tell you that. Wash your penis, bucko. Hi. For better or for worse. Hi. My name is Michael Stephen Shealy. I was born in Brookhaven Hospital. My family was living in Queens at the time, but we were out on Long Island and, uh, well... Wow, thanks for all that information nobody gives a shit about. We ended up staying there. And I, and I was born in, and basically as a baby spent my time in Blue Point. My formative years in Patchogue, where I moved on to Massac Beach, where I became a wigger. Um, I've done a lot of embarrassing shit in my life. Oh, I know. Like a lot of embarrassing shit. I've actually been more open and from day one transparent about the embarrassing disgusting shit i've done things where i'm the worst villain ever and uh oh and we'll we'll go over he has a villain speech oh i hope you're excited the man that wears green screen leotards and does cat theater in his apartment lonely at midnight has a villain speech an actual honest to god i come from a comic book villain speech we'll listen to that later from day one i've always been very open about that stuff despite the fact that I hate my fans and I hate you and I hate the internet and I hate everybody and I hate myself. Despite all that and despite being a shut-in creep uh, who's at this point borderline agoraphobic. But it's like there's either the guys that either can go out and talk to people and be normal and, and, and finesse and hustle and have fun or there's just people that 
with Cinematic or like pot awful and never leave their fucking house. I hate myself. Despite all that, and despite being a shut-in creep, uh, who's at this point borderline agoraphobic, I've always been an open book. With my flaws, my problems, with what I'm going through. I'm gonna do kind of like, hey chat, we're gonna, we're gonna do what, what, what Mr. Medica does. Oh, you're gonna be successful? I don't think that's gonna work for you, buddy. He's gonna be like me, guys and have an audience that's not in the three digits. He's going to be like me, guys, and actually sell merchandise people would wear in public without cringing. He's going to be like me, guys, and hold people's attention for more than five minutes in his drunken stupor. I don't think you're going to be doing what Medicare does. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little ankle biter. I'm sorry, little Z celeb uh, micro niche uh, wannabe podcaster. I don't think you're going to be doing that. I'm, I don't think it's happening, but let's 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 have him give it a shot. Except you guys know who I am as a person, which is what we've been doing for years. Faggot. Go away, Fed. At this point, you're a Fed, and we're going to prove why. Okay, let's see. Uh, is Jim Medicare a Fed? Jim Medicare is arguing with a group of satanic pedophiles and saying they're uh, dog shit. And Mersh has a contracted deal with Rumble that is bought it, where he expresses the views that... 764 is neato. Which one sounds like a Fed? Chat, which one sounds like a... F Let's do a Jim Medicare. Chat. Let's do a poll. Which one sounds more like a Fed? <laughs> uh, uh, the guy promoting 764 or the guy arguing with them? Who is the bigger Fed? <laughs> would, it be, would it be Mr. Mersh? Or would it be Mr. Mersh? Let's see. Fair and honest, true and honest poll. Chat. Let's see. <laughs> Who's the bigger Fed? Fedeker's on the case. He's been sweeping up for Kino Casino. Ralph brought Raven on, whatever the fuck her name is, the boring British girl. Didn't Medicare base his entire salvo against me on, like, legit? What did they do? They believed in Ehor. Medicare like literally sunk himself to the level of teaming with pot awful and the reddit i i see i don't know exactly what he's referring to maybe he's referring to the last stream i did where i played audio proof of ethan ralph saying that he would kill his wife and strangle her or you know and beat her you know irrefutable audio proof of him saying those things sunk his level to the e -whore. i don't know uh, he's talking about this chick that andy warski tried fucking it's the stuttering his way into her panties. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but something. These are fed ops. Clearly. The FBI and the NSA and the CIA knock on my door and they say, Jimmy, put down the chemo. We need you to go out there. We need you to go out there and team up with uh, e whores. <laughs> that's, that's how we're spending our days. To get a cam girl who neglects her son. Didn't they take a whole story about me having a tiny penis oh yeah you do have an itty bitty penis i mean it's it's been confirmed we saw the picture do i have to show the picture again i don't do you chat I, i'm being honest do you see any genitalia in this this is a skin tight leotard he's naked underneath it mersh is naked underneath that skin tight leotard i don't see genitals at all this man is built like a barbie doll he's he's a living ken there is no penis there there are no testicles there there isn't even a little fat, fatty, fat vagina. There's just nothing. Maybe he's made of some kind of plastic underneath. I don't know what's underneath this leotard, but there are no genitals present. I'd say it's a fair bet there's not a very big dick under there. And then ejaculating in my pants with some fucking <laughs> fake titted cam whore dry humping, some fan dry humping me. What did I say a year or two ago when I said, oh my God, are you guys simping for cam girls? Are you guys literally simping for fucking cam girls and listening to women who, I, and as I pointed out, and I want to point this out now because Medica is doing this, so it's, it's not my fault. Show me kitties. Hire another attorney, I guess. Uh, the backstory is um, Show Me Kitties was a, a slut, a, a, a cam whore. Can we just focus on the fact that a man who is obsessed with stealing cats would try to hit it up with a woman named Show Me Kitties? Like his cat obsession, the, the fucking parasites from the cat shit have wrecked his mind so badly 
that he can only date women with feline names. So of course it's show me kitties. That was whoring around our community and um, made out with me in our Airbnb, our shitty Airbnb. It was our first year in Vegas. We had no idea that you could just Airbnb better hotel rooms. We were in a bad apartment under the Rio, but whatever. She still showed up to it. She drove us around drunk in her fucking dad's car uh, while her son stayed with her dad to drive around a bunch of drunken fucking YouTube celebs. Uh, and then she came back to our place and she's like, I want to hang out with her. And we made out. Uh, and she did the I really like you thing. And I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. and I had a girlfriend at the time. I was just trying to fuck a big titted e girl. They took this chick on the air. Remember that? Medica is doing what he's trying to like. I never talked to Show Me Kitties and I never talked to Raven. I've never talked to either of those women or even brought them up in any of the streams that I've done. I have laughed at you for having an itty bitty dick, as has been reported by numerous people, <laughs> and shown to us in pictorial abidance. Okay, that's pictorial abidance. Even the cat, look at, see, even, even animals are aware that this is not the proper form of a human being. Look at the cat on the bottom, Mr. Tinklewings, or whatever his name is. He's looking directly at his crotch, confused. Try to figure out why does this human being not have a penis? It baffles everyone that sees it, even animals. Do like what, project onto Ralph right now. Oh, you got some spurned e girl, and now you're gonna do this all. It's all fed behavior. He was a fed from day one. Medicare is a disingenuous faggot, fed, who pushed COVID shit and then pretended to die four times, even fucking. Bro, it took fucking a week to bury Ronald Reagan, but we eventually buried the fucking guy, didn't we? Get over yourself. Tell the feds, build up somebody else that's trustworthy, that's not a faggot, that's not fucking some fat chink. He seems awfully angry. Very, very mad with me. Again, always shooting those shots over my bow. I gotta say... I gotta say, as mad as I might be at somebody, I wouldn't throw in with 764 like you did. You know, those satanic pedophiles, Marsh. <laughs> Not a good look. That isn't some weird fucking also into the same weird lolly pedo fucking cults that everyone else is. Get another Patrick Little. Find a guy like that. Patrick Little's the biggest mistake was that he just debuted too early. <laughs> I like how they how they fast forward to the person that put this clip together through all the wrestling time. I don't know what it is with the sector and wrestling. Why every one of these fat retarded fucks wants to be a wrestler? None of them have the fucking physique of Ric Flair. I don't know why you want to emulate him. <laughs> you're already you're already far behind on it. Shut up. We're making fun of Medicare. We're going to get sidetracked. We're having fun. We're being drunk and whimsical, kids. We can't do that. Come on, chat. I'm trying to sell hats. I'm so bad at monetizing this, too. I'm still, like, I made some money tonight, but nobody cares. And that's fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's going to be those, oh, yeah, Mercer's mad. He doesn't make as much money. Yeah, if I had to spend the 40 years I've been on this earth worried about making less money than others... I'd have killed myself a long time ago. Well, well. You know, it's really interesting to me, and we're going to get into some of this now as we kind of move forward here. Lots of lots of things being thrown out, but we've learned a few things from clip number one. One, uh, Mersh is thrown in with a group of satanic pedophiles. Okay, I can, I, round of applause, everybody. He's living his best life. <laughs> Raises questions about why he hates Gabe Hoffman now and what his real issue with, uh, with uh, uh, Schneider was, when you think about it. We found out that he'll only date women with feline names. Also very interesting. He's not at all upset about me uh, selling hats. Of course, this is a complete and utter lie. I'd like to refer you to uh, some evidence that I have. Uh, let's play the clip. And I want you to know right now. Dramatic that if I, I will be keeping track and I will be keeping tabs. And if I ever see people over here trying to play trying to play cool with all of us here at Nightwave. But then if I ever go over to a gym stream and I see you donating to Jim and sucking his fucking fake cancer dick, you're done. Oh, kiddos, you're fucking done. 
Now, our little truth teller here, our little savant who can see the future and knows so many things, has gone on and on and on and on for years now about me being uh, a charlatan. I'm a fed. Uh, I'm clearly not sick. You know, Brian, king of pole, when he spurred out on me uh, for setting up Halloween decorations and saying my wife was doing somersaults on the rooftop, <laughs> said, Jim's, Jim's faking everything. Jim doesn't have a wheelchair. Until Jim showed him the wheelchair that Jim owned. Until Jim posted pictures of his wheelchair to shut Brian up. And then Brian all of a sudden retreated into some other retarded shit. So I'm really looking forward to finding out what, what Mersh is going to say as we go through this. I put together a little collage, and I had to be smart about it. Now, there are reasons I have to be smart about it, and I'll, I'll show you why. Because uh, these people are insane. They're literal insane retards. Now, Mersh likes to say that, uh, oh boy, Jim's died four times, Jim's faking his illness and all this. And I've talked about being sick, and I've gone over it when people have asked in Super Chats, and I talked about it when I had my heart attack, and when I initially got diagnosed with cancer. But outside of that, I haven't really gone into great depth or detail on it, and there are certain reasons for that. One, like I said, these people are insane. I mean, they doxed my oncology doctor. This is Ethan Ralph, who took a test result I put up to mock him. And then tracked down the fucking cancer doctor and started spreading it on Telegram to teach me a lesson. Now, Mersh and Ralph are retards who would literally fuck with a dying man's cancer doctor because they are that angry. Take a minute to really think about that. How insane you have to be. At what level of ass seething cope you need to exist at to attack a cancer doctor of a dying man. But that's what these two dumb fucking morons did. You know, uh, we've got uh, Ralph, I'm going to strangle my wife. And, of course, we've got uh, fucking Mersh, I love 764. Completely, desperately insane. So I had to put together my little collage here in a way uh, that's going to, you know, show enough to prove everything that I've said is true, while at the same time not letting these psychopaths, I, I, I'm not sure exactly what their plan was on that, but just to, just to cover my bases. Just to cover my bases. So uh, let's start with the easy stuff. You know, when I when I had my heart attacks and Mersh uh, said I faked those, yeah, I started posting test results. But those weren't good enough. Clearly, I've doctored these. These are clearly, do you know, they're fake. Those are fake. I made those all, you know, all up. Those those aren't real. I spent my time teletyping them. Uh, tink, 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 tink. Then I, you know, posted my cardiac discharge papers from getting a stent put in. But, of course, that also was, you know, completely fake. You know, love faking cancer so much, decided to fake a heart attack too. Four out of five infarctions, pretty good. You know, then I posted the image of my actual heart with a stent in it. But, you know, of course, this is all fake. All make-believe. I made that in Adobe Photoshop. That's Adobe Photoshop. You may not know that. You may also not know that they give you a fucking stent card when you get one. Had to block out anything that these retards could use to try to track down I, I, the cardiologist. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. That shows the date of implantment and everything else because they put you on medication where you'll die uh, if they cut into you. Or if they put you in an MRI machine, it will rip it out of your fucking chest if it's too strong. But of course, again, these are all, this is all fake bullshit. Jim's not, maybe, okay, maybe Jim actually had heart attacks and had a stent put in, but Mersh is right. Jim's just been faking everything. <clears throat> so let me, you know, let me so oh, let me put a backing track on here. I like to call this all the tests that Jim has had over the last uh, four years. Do you guys have five minutes? Just just pause at any point to read through. The blacked out portion are the doctors and the medical facility names. But just you know, take a moment to drink it in. You know, Mersh. Um, I, I know you go on and on and on about me faking being sick, but I actually am very sick. Sick to the point that even the experts don't know what the fuck is going on. Sick to the point that they do test after test after test trying to fucking puzzle it out. Sick to the point that they're sending me to research medicine now because nobody can figure it out. And you've gone on this tirade, this weak bullshit lying tirade that I've been faking it for, for some kind of gain. I don't know what that gain would be, Mersh, as we look at all these fucking tests, repeated new ones, or ordered from new specialists. You could probably even guess what the specialist is just based on the tests you're looking at. But you go on and on and on about it. And it's really bizarre. Now, sure, maybe I'm just really committed to the lie. You know, faking stent pictures, faking discharge papers, faking stent cards, uh, faking a list of tests pulled from my fucking uh, 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 account on the medical website. This is all just smoke and mirrors, Marsh. This is just me dedicated to the ruse. 
Oh, we're still going to, have we, have we reached 2022 yet? Nope. We're still at 2021. We're still at 2021. Uh, you know, it's also interesting to me, Marsh, um, even having cancer and heart attacks and autoimmune diseases and having to go into research medicine and even being in indescribable pain. Um, I don't have GoFundMes, Marsh. I'll do streams and sell hats, but I did streams and sold hats before I got sick. You, on the other hand, uh, you crash your car into a wall because you're a drunk driver and you do a GoFundMe. Uh, you steal somebody's cat and you do a GoFundMe. Can't make your rent, you do a GoFundMe. Need IRS money, you do a GoFundMe. Uh, need to pay off a debt, you do a GoFundMe. Want to go on a Vegas trip, you do a GoFundMe. You'll beg and barter and plead for money at every opportunity. And you'll do it in ways I don't. Now, I don't stream consistently anymore because I'm dying and because I'm horrifically sick. But I still stream occasionally to earn money to leave to my wife. What's weird to me, Mersh, is I saw you took a couple days off because you had a bad case of the SADS. Couldn't make it to your ROTC show you. Mersh had a little case of the SADS. Oh, oh, poor. Were you having a mental health day? Were you, couldn't make it to your stream because of a mental health day, champ? Um, oh, that's that's a toughie. I'm sitting here right now, Mersh, streaming. Uh, as my bones turn to dust, as the rheumatoid arthritis retches my hands in weird directions, as my heart is uh, fucked, as my lungs are fucked, as my organs are fucked, as I lose sensation in my body and can't walk properly anymore, uh, as I lose the ability to see properly or hear properly, as the headaches never end, Mersh, but I'm still streaming. But you needed to take a mental health day because things got a little too tough for you, champ. Was it a, oh, God, was it a sad day for you? Couldn't steal enough cats to make rent at your Section 8 apartment, Mersh? Was that difficult? We're not done with the test, by the way. I don't know. Are you seeing this? Because they're just continuing. They just continue, Mersh. Every day, poked and prodded. So fun. It's so much fun, Mersh. It's, so, it's, it's such a joy to go in and do this all the time. Oh, you know, just continuous, never ending. It's a whole bunch of, you know, broken, broken this, broken that. Oh, oh, look at that. What's the most recent shit? Oh, yeah, that was uh, from the 15th of, uh, oh, is that this month? Yeah, when I when I was having signs of another heart attack. That was fun. And uh, what is it? It's 50, it's two weeks later, and I'm, I'm here laughing at your retarded ass. But, of course, you know, you needed that, that I got a real sad day. I got a sad day. Mersh got a sad day, guys. It's very sad. It's so sad. It's such a sad day. Shall we take a look at the list of shit? Mersh, that uh, that they've tried to diagnose, that they've said, well, this is, you know, we think this is what you've got. This is what the antibody tests show. This is what all the different things show. Uh, maybe that's that's not good enough. I don't know. Uh, let me let me just pull up my little copy here to sh to read along. Let's uh, let's see what we've got here, Mersh. As we go, we'll start. You know, we'll 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 start. Oops, hold on one second here. Sorry, chat. I'm getting everything ready to read. Uh, in the upper right, uh, cutaneous B-cell lymphoma. It sounds like cancer, Mersh. Hashimoto's hypertension, retrieval artery dissection, pulmonary nodules, congenital spinal stenosis of the lumbar region, sensorineural hearing loss of the right ear with unrestricted hearing of the left ear, immunoglobin subclass deficiency, long-term use of systemic steroids, osteoporosis with pathological fractures, uh, pre-cure, I can't even say that, percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty, coronary artery disease involving native coronary artery of native heart with angiopectoris, or I'm sorry, without angiopectoris, type 2 diabetes mellitus without complications, uh, a result of the steroids, fun, controlled substance agreement, that's for all the pain, Mersh, uh, cushoid side effect of steroids, that's when your face turns into the moon, inflammatory arthritis, nice way of saying rheumatoid, absence of sensation, anxiety, yeah, I got a little anxious as this was going on, as my hellscape continued. Kidney stones, migraines, congenital dilation of aorta, and disorder of the pituitary uh, gland. You know, just a few things, Mersh, I'm dealing with over here. Just really committed, really committed to the lie. I've put a lot of effort into this. I've, I've, I put a lot of effort into this, Mersh. <laughs> you know, uh, Mr. Munchausen's going in there tricking those doctors. Tricking all those doctors, Mersh. Uh, let's see. What what else can I show for a little mercy poo here? Oh boy. Uh, you know, uh, uh, of course, Jim. You know, it's it's just faking everything. Let's look at some actual test results. Here's fun. Here, you know, this is when I learned that I was starting to fracture. You know, just ribs in my spine by itself. Uh, this was the whole body PET scan that they did on me, which again, 
Oh, God, it sounds like he's saying pet CT findings. Uh, residual mildly FDG avid soft issue stranding thickening in the right posterior scalp. Oh boy, sounds like cancer, dipshit. Why was I going in again? What was the what was the 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 reason that they were sending me in? Oh, subsequent treatment planning and restaging for diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Oh, and then what's that secondary thing they saw there? Oh, the uptake from the fucking uh, uh, sugar dye they put in me that showed that I had a fucking busted couple of ribs that nobody knew about because they were all. And what was that? What was the date of that? That was that was uh, January, February, March, April. That was May, May of 2023 when they did that and found that. And then let's go to June where they do uh, x-ray of the chest. And oh, what, what do we find here? Up, oh, commutated, acute left ri uh, fifth rib fracture, deformity of third rib. So in the span of a month, I break two ribs and then two more ribs. And then let's not forget about the spine being shattered to glass because in December, new likely acute subacute anterior uh, compression deformity at L1 with approximately 30% of anterior height loss. And then, oh boy, good news. The L2 and L3 that broke earlier, those are okay. So one, two, three, four broken ribs and three broken lumbar uh, sections of my spine. But let's not forget, because I went in because I was having heart issues, and what did they find when they did an x-ray just to double check? Oh, you also have a new faint opacity overlying the right anterior third rib, possibly another healing rib fracture. But, you know, we can't come, we just can't stop there. You know, the rheumatoid arthritis that cripples my hands, the broken ribs, the shattered spine, the heart attacks, the cancer, the loss of hearing, uh, eyesight, loss of sensation in the legs, being bound to a wheelchair. Let's not also forget, you know, wanting to go into probably do surgery for kidney stones. I got lucky on this one. The surgeon was ready to go in. You ever piss out kidney stones when you got a broken back and broken ribs, Mersh? It's super fun. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's, it's fucking tickles me pink. But of course, you know, I just want to just continue on faking it, faking it till I make it, you know, really just, oh, you know, show my daily regimen of pills, try my best to black out things. I'm sure they'll find another oncologist to dox, <laughs> teach the cardiologist a lesson. Now, I bought this off the black market, Mersh, because um, I was so committed to my lie. I was like, I need you to give me 15 different medications that I can show. Um, Prolanta, they always give that to people that make up things. It's such an easy medication to get for your blood thinners. And all the painkillers like the Extamsa and the Oxycodone. Doctors love giving out high-dose, powerful painkillers. It's the one thing they find to be the most enjoyable thing to do. And all the micro or uh, nitro bid and, uh, you know, nitroglycerin. It's all to keep the lie up. It's all to keep the lie up. You know, and the, and the letters to things like the Undiagnosed Disease Network. Uh, where they're trying to get me into research medicine or the Cleveland Clinic or the place in Massachusetts. It's just all make-believe. It's all fictitious things in my head. You know, I don't know, Mersh, how much harder I need to blow your ass out of the fucking water. I'm really taking a moment to think that you've said for years now that I'm faking my illness and I've posted test results, the doctor's fucking notes, uh, the diagnosis list, the medication list, the hospital discharge papers, the stent pictures. And the weird thing is, Mersh, even going through all of that, even sitting here in what I would describe, do you know when I went to the pain clinic? When you go to a pain clinic and you talk to a pain clinic doctor, they give you a sheet. And on that sheet, it says, what are your goals? What are your goals with why you're coming here? Like, what's, what's your reason for coming here? You want to uh, go to work normally, ride a bicycle, climb a mountain? And my answer was very, very simple. I don't want to die screaming. That's what I wrote down as my answer. Because it's intractable pain, Mersh. And it's so weird to me that I can sit here with a smile laughing at your uh, pubic mound <laughs> and your uh, buddying up with satanic pedophiles. And I can do a stream semi-coherently, maybe not the best stream, but a stream. But you got to take a day off for the sads. And you're the guy doing GoFundMes? Who's a grifter here, asshole? I'm really fucking confused. Why is the healthy guy taking days off his streaming career because he's a little upset and then running GoFundMes for cats he steals because he can't pay his Section 8 rent, but the guy dying in excruciating pain, doing it with a smile on his face, doing a normal stream and shilling hats? I don't see a fucking GoFundMe around me, Mersh. So you make that, you know, square that up for me. Explain that. Chad, I'm confused. I'm confused. That's right. Line them up, baby. I'm confused, Chad. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. 
I don't know. I'd be feeling a little embarrassed. We haven't even got into the embarrassing shit, Mersh. I I jumped ahead a little bit here by showing some of this. I just wanted to set because your first one was uh, Jim is faking it. Uh, that's a lot of faking, man. I mean to dox a doctor that doesn't exist to get all those medications must have really <laughs> is really putting in the effort. I must have sat there for hours putting together that fake test list, Marsh. You know, getting those PET scans to show results. I'm just very, I'm a hacker man. I'm hacker man out here hacking things. Now, I know, too, you've also asked the question, boy, why won't you die, Medicare? Well, I know Rolf asks that all the time. He maybe has a legitimate reason. Because <laughs> uh, we fucking hate each other. You, I don't get so much. But you ask things like, why won't I die? And we've hold, you know, held four funerals for you. Um, why are you streaming? Why aren't you spending your time differently? I'll tell you, it's very simple. Because... Unlike you, who lives with cats in a Section 8 apartment, I have a wife, you dumb fuck. When I'm dead, she's on her own. So even though I'm in horrific pain, even though life is misery, and these diseases suck, and I'm trying my best to cope with them, I'm going to take every opportunity I can to be a whore and sell a fucking hat, Mersh, so that when I'm dead, she can deal with it. I'll let you handle in a little uh, lore here on a uh, little Jimmy. So my mother, when she died, uh, she had a, a aortic tear and she lasted for about a year after that, but her insurance wasn't the best. And so because her insurance wasn't the best, uh, we couldn't afford a live-in nurse. So I took up that. Some other family helped as well too, but you know, I was in charge of uh, making sure the oxygen tanks were full, uh, watching that she had the cannula in, getting her appointment set up, getting her to her doctor, dealing with medical emergencies. You know, there's nothing more fun than being woken up at three in the morning by somebody who has fallen out of bed and their cannula has come off and they are hallucinating that there's a bat in the room and they're convinced of it. And so you have to calm them down because you don't want their heart to explode. So you move out every single fucking piece of furniture, Marsh, in the room uh, to convince them that there's nothing in there and then move it back in to calm them down. And I did that for about a year to a year and a half until she finally passed away because that's what you do for family. So I've been on the other side of it. I know what it's like to take care of a dying person. But the thing is, when she died, her estate wasn't really in order. And so when somebody's estate isn't really in order, you've got to do all this sort of shit. And there's so much pressure involved with that and in planning a funeral and dealing with uh, debts and distributing assets and just doing everything related to somebody dying. It is, it's just a ton of fucking work. And so I swore to myself when I started getting sick and when I knew I was going to die that I would set it up so that my wife wouldn't have to deal with that. So that when I die, they can throw my ass in an oven, cremate me, scatter the fucking ashes, and everything's on autopilot. That she has money in the bank, that the house is taken care of, that there aren't things that she has to fix, that the car is working, that she knows uh, she won't have to worry about getting a job because uh, we, we've dealt with college multiple times to get multiple degrees. Uh, that she's set up to be fine, that she's taken care of, that there isn't a weight hanging over her head. So I, I'm sorry I'm not dying in the way that you think I should die. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm taking too long to do it or that I'm uh, sticking around to sell a few hats. Uh, but, you know, it's part of the responsibility of being in a marriage and having, you know, people survive you. It's one of the reasons I didn't have kids. You know, my dream for my life was very, uh, very middle of the road. Most people who become like YouTubers, oh, I want to be famous. Oh, I'm going to meet all these fucking people, these TikTok sluts and drive Lambos and do all that shit. Uh, my my dream for my life, whether it was through YouTube or other means, was to have a normal suburban house, have a couple of pets, be married, and have some kids. That was it. And I was very close to it. Got married, loved my wife, we got a house, we were happy, and then the next plan was we're going to have kids. But too sick to do it, not responsible and you know, uh, of me with whatever the fuck this is to have kids. Because I don't want to, one, die when they're five, and then two... Whether I die when they're five or not, they end up getting what I have because we never got it figured out. So I have those responsibilities. They may not be to children, but I still have a wife. So it's really weird that you like don't get that or you can't figure it out. Or this is like some mystery to you as to why why would why, why would Jim still sell hats? Why would Jim still stream? Isn't he dying? Isn't he in pain? Yeah, I am. I am dying and in excruciating pain. But uh, you know, it's part of being a responsible adult. I know that's a difficult concept for you. You steal cats. <laughs> you steal cats and live, you know, and uh, get mad at people on the internet at the behest of apparently satanic pedophiles. 
but there are, you know, normal people out there that do normal things. It's not that bizarre to normal people. Uh, what I've explained, I'm, I'm pretty sure most people would hear that and be like, yeah, yeah, you probably want to make sure things are taken care of for your family once you're gone. Um, yeah, uh, being sick would suck and you'd probably try to track it down as best you could. But apparently this is, these are all mysteries to you. You don't get it. And yet I'm the grifter and you're the one running GoFundMes because you drunk drive into a wall. You drove your car drunk into a wall. And that deserves to go fund me. I'm dying and leaving behind family. And I'm not doing that. I think you maybe need to reassess your opinion on this, champ. I think maybe you fucked up a little bit here, champ. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm the weird one. Maybe I'm the stream. Maybe it's all those drugs have gotten to me. They're all, they're all fucking me up. But again, I guess I got to remember that we're dealing with a villain. <laughs> We're dealing with a villain. I'm sorry, I forgot. Comic book merch is coming to get us. I'd sacrifice a thousand Medicars to go back to pre-COVID. I would throw Medicare into a goddamn volcano screaming to go back to pre-COVID. Think I give a fuck about your immunocompromised ass? Die already. Fucking stomp on our constitution. Kick the fucking every support beam and whatever fucking thing we had left holding up this country on your way out. Just die, you fucking... Literally... For, and, and everybody goes, oh, no, Jim, what a mess. He's a boomer on paper and in his attitude. He's a literal fucking boomer. He boomered all of you, and you still buy his hats like fucking Marx. See, that hat thing really pisses him off, which is the perfect segue into a hat commercial. Oh, boy. Jimmy's going to sell some hats with his fantastic... <laughs> that commercial and then we're going to come back and watch him seethe more like i said this wasn't like one day of him being mad this was fucking continuous for four days four days of ass pained mersh angry angry mersh convinced i'm faking my illness and then trying to hedge it at the very last minute so my point with this stream is just to make him look like the asshole that he is and to also show that he decided to go on this tirade at the very beginning because i was arguing with satanic pedophiles <laughs> Uh, you can't write shit like this. You can't, you know, even, even on the, even at my end, I'm running into shit like this. This is this Tumblr DA shit. You, it's just amazing to me that he walked willingly into it. I don't know. Uh, so let's do a small break. I'm going to grab a drink. I'll put up my little hat commercial. We'll come back, watch Mersh get, uh, get angry. Maybe we'll see his little T-Rex arm slap at the air. I don't know. I don't know what this crazy fucker's going to do. We'll listen to his villain speech. <laughs> by buying a goddamn American capitalist hat. Oh, got to use that USA dollars to do it. Where well, are you going to do that, you ask? Well, you don't really ask, but I'm going to show you anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to show you anyway. Oh, look at those hats. Quality fucking hats, ladies and gentlemen. Word around town, it looks fancy. Buy a hat for your hat. For your hat. Buy a hat for your hat. For your hat. Buy, buy a hat for your hat. Buy a hat for your hat. 
Buy a hat for your hat. For your hat. For your hat. Wear it around town and it's fancy. Buy, buy a hat for your hat. For your hat. For your hat. Too much. Love the red, white, blue. Love my apple pie and baseball. Sometimes I just look at the Statue of Liberty. It's so goddamn beautiful. Oh, that is good stuff. <laughs> you know what? Buy a hat for your hat. Buy a hat for your hat. For your hat. For your hat. For your hat. You know what? Buy, buy a hat for your hat. To sell you beautiful fucking hats. We all love Jim's hats. Let me, let me move a little bit. Oh. Over on Shopify. Medicare.myshopify.com. Buy the finest hats available. You gotta do this. You're gonna do that over at my store. Buy my hats. Change the communist the lesson. Fuck the lemon. Buy a hat. You gotta do this. Buy my hats. Buy my hats. I gotta do this. I buy my hat. <laughs> you know what? Buy a hat for your hat. For your hat. I gotta do this. Buy my hat. I gotta do this. Buy a hat for your hat. For your hat. Quality. Buy my hat. I gotta do this. Buy a hat for your hat. For your hat. I gotta do this. Buy my hat. I gotta do this. Buy a hat for your hat. Oh. Holy shit! Oh, what a fucking beautiful ending to this. Oh, God. Let me get a cigarette for this one. Oh, boy, smoke them if you got them, shit. Run out and buy a fantastic... By the way, Jimco merchandise now available at the store. It's a brand new widget-inspired Jimco merchandise. Oh, boy. But, yeah, let me, let me throw that shill in there because he's, of course, seething. Now, I'm not 100% certain what initially sent Mersh off, because he did start all of this. He likes to rework the timetable on this, the chronology of it. Uh, I, I don't buy the COVID thing, because I streamed about that from, like, December of 2019 to maybe March of 2020. And that was it. It was, like, four months. I think it was before, it was, like, right before it really hit America. But he attributes me to lockdowns and vaccines and all this other shit, so I don't, I don't buy that. Um... And it's obviously not the faking the illness thing, because he knows he's full of shit, and I pretty much put him in the dirt tonight in regards to that. I think it really is. He is just ass-pained. People love my fucking hats. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what it is about my hats that sets this man off, but apparently something does. Because he's out there giving villain speeches. Oh, oh, shit. I'd sacrifice a thousand Medicare's to go back to pre-COVID. I would throw Medicare into a goddamn volcano screaming to go back to pre-COVID. Think I give a fuck about your immunocompromised ass? Die already. Fucking stomp on our constitution, kick the fucking, every support beam and whatever fucking thing we had left holding up this country on your way out. Just die, you fucking, literally. For, and, and everybody goes, oh, no, Jim, what am I? He's a boomer, on paper, and in his attitude. He's a literal fucking boomer. He boomered all of you, and you still buy his hats like fucking Marx. That was the funniest part. Bro, you could have even, like, trolled me better if you just worded that better. But the fact that you actually did the, are you mad Jim didn't acknowledge you. I have been half of Jim's fucking brain since he's come back to streaming. I dominate his fucking cancer-riddled brain. Well, he did want attention. So I, I am giving that to him. I know, I know, Mersh, you've been asking for the attention. So I wanted to give it to you tonight to make sure that everybody was well aware that you decided to pick the moment I was arguing with satanic pedophiles to give him the thumbs up and the wink. Give him the nod. Tell him, yeah, kitty thief, Mersh agrees with you. You teach that boomer a lesson. It's so weird. This little megapede is giving me shit. <laughs> but I love, I love the music. It's cut so well behind this. And the lights reflecting off his balding head as he wears his sunglasses indoors again to give his villainous comic book-like speech. 
doddering old fuck. I hope I'm the last thing he thinks about on his fucking deathbed. I hope his cynicism won't allow him to just drift off as the morphine hits him and let his last thoughts be of his best moments with Jade. I want him to hold on to that cynicism. I want him to hold on to that anger. And I want to be the last fucking thing he thinks about so his last moments on this planet are fucking ruined if he is really sick for everything he did to spread the COVID shit. Burn in hell. How about that? He thinks he's so badass. Like, I bet he I bet he monologued that in his head in front of a mirror before the stream. Like, look at him. He's looking off the side like, yeah, job well done. I hope that Medicare guy sees about... You know, I've, I've been pretty jovial about this, Mersh. I haven't really been screaming my head off. Unlike you, who literally threatened to put people on a list if they bought my hats. And once again, are seething in anger about hat-related purchases. <laughs> But you're a nice guy. Do you remember Nice Guy Mersh? Oh, this was a, this is a bit of a classic one. I know we're jumping out of order. We've still got two more clips to go on. Uh, but, you know, my Nice Guy Mersh is always fun. Hey, guys. Um, so this guy's being mean to me. Uh, this was from an evening where Mersh got super drunk playing video games. And they got very angry at somebody who didn't want to play video games with him. Uh, and kept trying to big league him and tell him what a big deal he was. Like, you don't know who I am. I'm Mersh from Revenge of the Siths. Uh, you should be kissing my, I'm a pretty big deal. And this guy said I was, cl here's why we're here, folks. He said I was, he said we were clout chasing him. Which is true and also very sad. Mersh is so desperate for viewers that he stalks people on Twitch with an audience of 10. And berates them, <laughs> and berates them for not showing him deference and respect. So now, this fucking guy rejected our love, rejected our love. We're just trying to be nice. I, we were so nice. I am. <laughs> oh, look at his t god i love his little tiny t-rex hands and arms i think part of why mersh is so mad at the world not just me but just the world in general is one his penis is inverted he's got a pubic mound that's an upside down triangle so like it's small to begin with and this has been confirmed by women and just basically looking at him wearing a leotard but he's got these itty bitty tiny t little t-rex arms and hands and when he flails them they just don't reach Right? Like an actual T-Rex. He can't get down to his genitalia. I don't think he can sexually pleasure himself. So he's got to like, he's got to like hump furniture. I think that's what he does. And he probably blames it on the cats. People come over, they're like, God damn, why does your couch look like that? Like, you live like this? Like, what the fuck's going on with your couch? Oh, it's the cats, man. That fucking cat's got a runny nose. I don't know what that stain is. But his little itty bitty little T-Rex arms can't reach. And he's just fucking mad about it. So mad at this guy right now. I need this man ruined. I'm dealing with some tax stuff. I don't even have to report Twitch to the IRS. We were so nice. <laughs> That's a lot to just. Oh. Oh, we were so nice. Yeah, you know, it'd be fun. Everybody should just report his channel now because he's like getting everybody to target a fucking a poor a poor guy who was nice to him i tried to be nice he tried folks i was saying it was a nick fuentes joke relax literally everybody's going no gay i'm like literally doing a nick fuentes joke you fucks jesus this entire thing started with a genuine attempt of us being nice I was mad when you called me Bush, we Bush League and lightweight. Oh, that upset him. Apparently, if you tell Mersh that he's not successful, this is honest drunk. You know, when you get you know so shit-faced that you're just blatantly honest, you know, you just can't help it anymore. A few too many drinks and you're Mr. Honesty. That's him right now. And what upsets him the most? 
people calling him out for his clout chasing, telling him he's poor, and telling him he's Bush League and an amateur. That really pisses him off. Really gets to him. Really fucks with his head. And now, I'm going to show you how Bush League I am, homie. Yeah, no, you did this. You did it to yourself. You did it to yourself. The wrath of Yeah, no, you're right. Don't take any personal responsibility. Holy shit. Ah, my brain broke. I don't, oh God. Ah, my eyes twitching. I don't know if that's, is death finally come for me or is it just listening to this retard? Is he, is he criticizing somebody about personal responsibility that I must have misfucking heard? The guy that can't repair his car without a GoFundMe because he drunk drove it into a wall is talking about personal responsibility. Uh, the guy that gambles away his uh, tax payments in Vegas and loses the money and then complains to his audience is talking about personal responsibility. Mr. 20 K liquidity. The, this guy's talking about personal responsibility. I just, uh, something doesn't compute. Just be nice to us when we load. That's literally what I said, right? Virgin said, Hey, can you just be nice to us when we load in? Like, like trying to be nice. We, we gotta get this guy. He needs to, he needs to know that he's the cloud chaser. Man, you guys are really mean to people. Well, I, you, I'm why nice. You, why are you so, why are you, oh, oh I'm nice, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, in love. yeah somebody, go, somebody go to this guy's stream and be like, you called him a clout tracer when he was trying to be nice to you. Like, what did you expect? Like, right? Like, he was being nice to you. I was being nice to this guy. The only reason this stream is happening right now is because I was being nice to him or we were trying we were trying to be nice oh he's so nice guys <laughs> he's so nice oh he's so nice okay but of course not content with just one day of massive ass pain wishing me death and calling me a faker uh and you know uh throwing in with 764 again for those coming in late and wondering God, what's what's Jim talking about when he's referring to um to seven six four? Let me where where is it? Let me make sure I got the right thing here. Oh boy, want to make sure we got the right one because <laughs> you just can't. Oh, uh, that would be who I'm referring to. The network of satanic pedophiles that Mersh decided to white knight. I don't know why he wanted to white knight him, but he did. That's what he decided to do. Don't look at me. I can't explain it. It's insane. But uh, was it just one day? Then we move on, and he's he's got another one. I can tell it's a different clip because he changed his T-shirt, which is a rare occasion. Mark it on your calendar. We'll celebrate it as a holiday right next to Easter. I want to see it now. Ethan Ralph just said this. Uh, cog down and out. Josh Moon on an indefinite hiatus after raising 180K from Kiwi Farms. Worst game, fat ass getting exposed to their Canadian home base. Jim getting blown out by Anon. Sick of his shit. Yeah, we pointed that out the other night. <laughs> the kill stream surging. Big guests knocking shit out of the park. Sober Ralph occurs. Mm, sober is, you know, come on, let's be honest. Dude, it is a good time to be on this side of things. It's damn near vindication to see that the Sweetie Squad is broken and scattered around. Okay, let me just, uh, I'm sorry, chat. I, I know this is the Easter holiday. A lot of people celebrating with their families. It's a weird time to do a stream. Uh, the Sweetie Squad broken and scattered around. That does say 12,000 people watching, right? I know my eyesight's fucked because I'm actually sick as I've proven on this stream, unlike uh, what this retard thinks. Uh, but does that say 12,000 viewers? Now, I'd ask Mersh his opinion on this, but he's never seen a viewership that's in the five digits before. He's probably confused. So I'll have to ask Chet. Does that say 12,000? Am I reading that number right? Scattered to the winds? 12,000, right? That's that's what that number is? Does somebody want to take a photograph of that and send it to Mersh? Maybe he can pin it on his wall as a goal in his life. It's going to take a while. He's got to get out of three digits first, but maybe it's something to look up to. Maybe he could buy one of my hats. It might inspire him to put on a show that's not dog shit and watched by bots. That's 12,000, right? Oh, yep, yep. Chat's saying that's 12,000. Okay. Sorry about it. I, we were scattered to the wind, so I wasn't sure. A lot of people just reply to Medica on Twitter now. Like, oh, yeah, no, you're dying, though, right? Kino Casino is fucking a Zionist fucking dying show. Cog is fucking making trans cooking videos. It's like they were always faggots. And anybody could have called it, as we've been calling it for years. And by the way... When he says we, do you think he means 764? I'm so confused. Can somebody, when Mersh, when you're saying we, do you mean 764? Is that the we you're referring to? 
I mean, that's just a guess. I don't have any evidence, but just based on your behavior the last couple of days, is that the we? By the way, is Ralph a fucking mess? Absolutely. I'll say that shit to his face, and Ralph could call me a mess to my face. I won't take it as an insult, and he shouldn't take it as an insult either. The point is, when you have the entire, like, when you have every huge, like, so-called, like, big fucking influencer and creator coming out of you, when it becomes fashionable to just shit on you for no fucking reason, and it becomes a thing, and watching all the weak ones that just rolled with the wind went in whatever direction meant that they'd get the most super chats. Not, not being dragged into this fashionable, like, like again, Cog, Cog's the guy that was making bank at one point. Kino Casino were guys that were making bank at one point. All these guys that like cling on to whatever Kiwi farms or these groups are like, this is the cool thing to go after. Pot off, well, another example, I'm just gonna, do whatever I think whoa, the sector wants. Yeah, he also really fucking hates Pot Awful. You'll notice that. He mentions them a lot. Kino Casino, Kog, he'll bring them up occasionally. Fucking hates Pot Awful. Also hates his subreddit, Armersh. Don't go read Armersh. That would make him very mad. That would make his little T Rex arms flail in anger. People see you for the phony, false, no principle having faggots that you are. It's nice to be on the right side of this. Really? The right side of it. Again, to take a moment, just to reiterate, Mersh's three-day tirade that he has begun started because he was cheerleading on people that associate with a group of satanic pedophiles. The right side of it. Just wanted to really make that crystal clear. And by the way, Medicare, all due respect, when are you going to die? I want a date. Can we get a date, please? Look, I'll put it this way. My mom had cancer, and it was actually like not like I'll put it this way. When my mom had cancer, she was diagnosed with cancer. My mom lasted, I want to say, more or less two years. Gosh, she probably would have lasted four if you took care of her. I mean, I see how you live, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm amazed she lasted two years if you were any part of her caretaking team. Just saying. Just saying, buddy. Probably, probably just lying there in horrible pain as you put cats on her because you needed room to store them. Mersh, please, stop. Take the cats off of me. I can't. I'm in so much pain, please. And you're like, I gotta do a GoFundMe. I drunk drove my car into the wall. Hold these cats, mother. She went from going in for chemo and getting treatments and getting told, you're gonna beat this fucking thing. And within two years, she was in the fucking bye-bye in the forever box. Meanwhile, Medicare has this weird immunodeficiency mixed with cancer and this and that and all these organs and these systems that keep shutting down and they're doing this and they're doing that. And yet here he is all these years later and he's still selling ads. Don't let the crowd start making you chase that fucking algorithm because it's not worth it. I don't know what this insane fuckwit is talking about. Oh, boy. Oh, look at Medicare. Oh, boy. Maybe, you know what? You know what the oddest thing is? Uh, Mersh, your mom probably, her cancer probably sucked. And she probably stuck around because she was worried that you wouldn't be able to take care of yourself. It's kind of kind of what I'm doing for my wife. I, I don't know how you don't draw those parallels, dipshit. <laughs> she probably was, she took one look at you and was like, I know this is horrifically painful and it really sucks. But my adult son is such a fucking retard that if I drop right now, he is going to be living in the gutter. And fuck, was she right? Like, you were out there as a rent boy. Don't think we don't know that. We've seen the pictures of you staring at dick. We've seen you at the gay nightclubs. We've seen the GoFundMes and the, the blog posts. I know what you were up to. You were a rent boy. You sold crystal meth as a rent boy. <laughs> That's how you survived after mom was gone. And then you caught on and you thought, oh shit. All I gotta say is I love Donald Trump and uh, liberals bad. And people throw money at me. And that was your new grift. Now you present yourself as this uh, uh, conservative commentator. And most of these people are lying. And most of these people end up at some point having to invent some sort of crisis to drag your money out of you. To drag your money out of you. I have to agree with the subtitles. Again, little Jimmy Bojangles doesn't run GoFundMes, but I know somebody who did. A little Mersh here. 
Oh, hey guys, I found a cat in my neighborhood and I need to take it to the vet. It's going to cost me $890,000. I'll post receipts in a month and a half when it finally maybe doesn't happen. And um, tell all those... Tell all those assholes at Pot Awful to stop calling up every humane society in my state to tell them the cat grifter is trying to fuck people out of money. You're fucking with my rent here. Kind of gross. Oh boy, so that was that was day one and day two. Uh, now I haven't watched this one entirely, but apparently day three, it just keeps going. How mad can a man be about hats? I don't know. The seething rage continues, though. The man is on his deathbed, and all he has in the world to reflect upon as his fucking cancer eats his body is anime and retarded people on the internet. I, I do love anime. I love anime so goddamn much. And I do love laughing at retards. You know, humor, laughter, is the best medicine. Maybe that's why I'm still around kicking. Maybe that's that's why little Jimmy hasn't dropped dead completely yet. It's because you are a living punchline, and you are sustaining me. It's like a, a, a lich based off humor. It's watching you spurg out like a retard. Oh, give me a date when you're going to die, Medicare. One of the two. So that's, that's your two choices. He's either full of shit, and he's been working you fucking marks to sell hats. Uh, and lying about cancer, which is a weird thing to lie about. Oh. See, this is the newest clip from Mersh, and this is him hedging his bet. Because he's reading he's reading a, a post that got put up where I said, hey, I'm going to be doing a Easter stream. A little Easter cat stream. And, you know, blowing his ass out of the fucking water with irrefutable proof, which I've done. So now he's trying to hedge it. Oh, that'd be weird if he was faking cat. Maybe he's got it. I don't know. No, you don't get to say for two and a half years that I'm a faking, lying piece of shit. And then try to hedge your bets because you're worried you're going to look like an asshole. The kind of asshole that would back satanic pedophiles. <laughs> or he is dying and this is all he has to reflect back upon. No family, no real friends. Uh... No family. I live in the house with my wife, you dumb fuck. You live with cats. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jim's got no family. I literally have a wife. You live with cats, Mersh. Your best friend, whose couch you lived on for eight years, threw you out of his house because he wanted to fuck his wife in peace for once. You live by yourself with no friends and family. I don't know what this weird projection is, but it's bizarre. No foundation, no spiritual foundation to look back upon, to, you know, uh, nothing to look forward to, no afterlife to look forward to, no kids. Just some fucking gook wife and a collection of anime that people are going to probably buy on eBay when he's dead. That hey. Hey. My gook wife's going to keep that anime. Okay. <laughs> we both like the anime. Get your facts straight. That's it. Uh, it's almost Easter. And what better way to celebrate such a cherished and holy day than by laughing at insane people on the internet? I don't know, Medica. You're dying. I would say maybe go to church. It's Easter. It's a good... I mean, that, you know, I could go to church. I probably could walk into one, unlike you or Ethan, who would combust into fucking flames. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you could cross the threshold. Have we ever seen actual videographic evidence of Mersh entering a church? Have there been any fires reported in his neighborhood at any of the denominations where he might have accidentally entered a church in pursuit of a cat? Time to figure out how to come back to life like you keep doing miraculously every fucking few months. Uh, from science fiction authors who will send all stalker children to prison, TikTok stars whose delusions send them on cross-country road trips, and a very fat and silly man whose seething anger is giving him horse strokes to the point of his bad <laughs> reputation against me. I'm the fat guy. I'm the horse strokes. That's me. I'm that guy. By the way, I love when people go, yeah, Medica's really living rent-free in your head, huh? I mention this nigga once every two months. You literally, literally have gone on for three days three days about me because I was arguing with satanic pedophiles. I don't think rent free. I know you're familiar with what rent free is section eight. Okay. But, um, I think you've got things backwards here. When he mentions me, because I find it hilarious, hilarious. I think he's lying. I think you're lying about your cancer. And I broke this man. That's literally all he has. 
Uh, truly, this is how God intended us to worship. Oh, that's also good. Good, good to be sacrilegious on your death. It's fun. Oh, like you care about religion. Like anything in your life is uh, has any angle of religion to it. Oh, the upright Christian who is a fall down drunk who gives into gluttony based on his uh, physiology and physiology. <laughs> but look at you. You're fat slop. You drink all day. You do drugs. You fuck hookers by your own admission. You give an advice like gambling. You're arrogant, egotistical, narcissistic. What Christian virtues do you purport to have? What holy things do you espouse that you actually live by? You use it like a cudgel. It's a little shield to hide behind. It's the newest grift. If I say I'm a Christian, I can sucker people out of money and have some fake moral high ground to argue with them. You are perhaps the worst type of person. Wasn't it, what is it, letters to uh, Corinthians? Wasn't that the whole point of that? Where they talked about who should we let in a church, who should we not let in a church? When it talked about uh, an argument in regards to, do we let the pagan heathen come in? And they're like, no, don't let the pagan heathen come in. And the, the argument was, no, they should come in. The person that we should expel from our church is actually the asshole that pretends to be a Christian, that knows better and pretends. Because they're really the sickness that infects and infests everybody else. That's you. You're that sickness using your fake Christian grift. You and people like uh, Ralph and uh, Fuentes and all the others. I mean, Fuentes went on a 30-minute spiel talking about how poor people suck and uh, how carpenters should fucking kill themselves. The guy worshiping Jesus, the carpenter, said carpenters should ice themselves. And your fat ass that drinks and eats and gambles and whores all day long, and you're going you're gonna to chastise me about being sacrilegious. Oh, boy. That's some that's some heavy rich shit uh, right also there. Also, apparently, P. Diddy, aka Puff Daddy, aka Sean K. Combs, aka that Black Epstein guy, is out here popping the cherries of pop stars. Wow, that's good. That's funny stuff. That's a good observation. Uh, the stream will be this Saturday, the thirtieth, at seven p.m. Central Time. Be warned. Oh, that that was a good observation. Hey, you know, it was a good observation when you covered Dan Schneider after the internet had talked about it for four fucking years. You're really, really, uh, you know, early to that. Not like that was a pull thread every day for years that you stole from. Kiddos, we're all on a list for this one. That's another Marsh. How many Marsh references are you fucking? You know what? What? I'm sorry. This got explained to me recently. The tink, tink, tink thing was apparently me making a list of people. Oh, no, that's when you um, contacted the police. That's when you wrote a letter to a detective because you were being made fun of on the Internet. Uh, fun lore on Marsh. Um, he's so light, you know, thin skinned. Uh, that he contacted law enforcement because he was being made fun of. And the tink, tink, tink is him on the typewriter doing it. And he's trying to pretend he doesn't know what that's in reference to. But he does. He does know what that is. Uh, it's also like how people bring up the fact that the person that probably called CPS on Benjamin Owen's kids and Benjamin Owen was Mersh. That's another thing he likes to try to pretend he doesn't get. But if I recall, if you look at how many times I've tweeted or mentioned Menneker and how many times he talks about me... Am I really the one that should be getting the tink, tink, tink? I mean, you're tink, tink, tinking away about me, aren't you? Apparently, I really bothered you by calling you out for faking your cancer. So, yeah, I don't have much of a reputation, but I will bet it on the fact that you're a fucking cock-sucking liar, Jim. Okay, well, I mean, you heard him, folks. He's betting the reputation because <laughs> he can't. Let's be honest. He couldn't bet anything else. He lost it all in Vegas, and he can't pay his tax debt. So all he's got left to bet is his reputation, as shattered and worthless as it is. So, again, you know, um, I spent 25 minutes going over evidence. So well, where do I collect, Mersh? What pawn shop do I give your reputation to to get uh, $1.95 from, now that I own it? Now that I own your reputation that's worthless, where do I exchange that for goods and services? Because it's mine now. Your reputation no longer exists. You're a cocksucking liar. Yeah, I'll bet anything on that. Uh, if you have any pet cats, please keep them indoors so they don't end up on some scam GoFundMe run by a guy with a pubic mound that is triangle-shaped. Good one, and more references. More Reddit references. This guy gets all his prep from Reddit now? Well, I mean, we saw the picture. Am I wrong, chat? Is that not a triangular-shaped pubic mound? It's on screen. I didn't... If that's... I'm getting that from my eyes, Mersh. Even your cat's looking at it. 
<laughs> it's not like I pulled that out of thin air. Uh, I will post directly the day of. And remember, guys, every time you buy a hat, Mersh screams out something about Dayton, Ohio before falling to the floor. Ah. <laughs> uh, but I but he lives rent free in my house. By the way, that's all the time we're spending on you, Jim. Now I'm sure you're gonna spend probably a half hour. Uh nope. We're going on what is it, an hour and forty minutes. I wanted to be thorough. Ranting about me into the clouds, and that's fine. But I can assure you it doesn't bother me. Uh, I'd have to disagree. I think it bothers you greatly based on the numerous clips we have of you literally spurging out like a retard in seething anger about people donating money or watching the stream or buying a hat. There was also that clip, I probably should have put it in, where you went on Ralph's uh, show drunk out of your mind and just started spurging out for no reason. It was like a non sequitur. People were looking at you like you were insane. Um, you're right. I'm fat. I have a triangle dick. What else? Uh, <laughs> I steal cats. Uh, I have four strokes. You know what I don't do, Jim? I don't lie about my health scares. No, neither do I, Mersh. As has been shown by the overwhelming evidence tonight. I don't lie about cancer. A lot of us have parents and friends and loved ones that have died of cancer. And you've spent the last two years attacking a dying man with cancer because you are literally jealous. And then you have to cope and try to hide it as something else. And now you've been blown the fuck out in a way you'll never recover from. What, what are you going to say to it? What's your response, Mersh? You have none. I own your reputation. And not only have you been blown out and your reputation been given to me as a gift that I will pawn off for $1.95, but you threw it away so you could cheerlead in White Knight for a group of satanic pedophiles. Oof. Most of us would never make light of such a thing. Um, but that's fine. That was, that's fine. I would literally rather be the horse-stroking cat guy. <laughs> That was fucked up. I just had a fucking giddy up. <laughs> Look at those Whoa. eyes. Then the fucking amoral, dickless loser on the internet who may or may not be dying. And honestly, when are you gonna get to the dying part? I know After I sell millions of hats. You, you probably didn't see it, but Nick Ricanon wished me a million hat sales, and I've got a ways to go. Unfortunately, everybody spent their money on Eric July's comic books, which, what did he hit on his fucking uh, fundraiser? Eight bajillion dollars. Just, just knocked it out of the park. <laughs> so I understand hat funds may be a little bit limited right now, Mersh, but I'm working my way towards it. I see it. this every time Medicare's name comes up. How long does he get to die for? You know what I mean? How many parades are we going to have for this fucking guy before it's like, okay, dude, like, we, you know what I mean? We've already had nine funerals. Like, can we move on? Please? Can you fucking do the, the, the manly thing now and die already? Uh, Jim Edwards said they want him to make fun of you. I'm sure there is a, there is a, a vocal minority of people that know who I am, but... Vocal minority? Well, 12,350 right now do. They're getting a real good education on who you are at the very moment. <laughs> or the hundreds of thousands that watch Porcelain's documentary where he goes over all your scam GoFundMes and your rent boy phase and your lying bullshit and your breakup with Gabe Hoffman and your spurging out. And th they know who you are too now. Trust me when I tell you, there's a lot of people. I've seen the comments, I've seen Twitter. There's a lot of people eye rolling at this point about him and being like, who loves him? And there's also, you know what I'm hearing a lot of rumblings about? You can push me, right? Mersh was right. I mean, this is like his 10th farewell stream. Like, what the fuck, dude? Look, I don't even like that guy, Mersh, but like, he said a thing and it seems like it's starting to come true. Uh, what did you say that was true, dipshit? I like how the, he, that's not like, an, he can't list anybody except for a group of simps that work with people that are associated with a satanic pedophile organization. <laughs> oh, maybe that Mersh guy's right. Oh, boy, you know, I mean, sure, Jim just did a stream where he posted a fuck ton of medical stuff showing that Mersh is a giant retard. But maybe, maybe Mersh is right. Jimmy boy. Oh, folks, I don't know. That's, I don't know what the response is going to be. So, like, this has been 
Three days. Three days of him going on and on about it. Now I've, I've shown the evidence, the, the pictorial evidence of the testing, fucking wheelchair, heart tests, fucking cardiac discharge papers, stent imaging, stent card, PET scans, God, Jesus Christ, fucking pills, fucking doctor's letters. Like, what, I, what, what more would I need to do to show how much of a retard this retard is? <laughs> Him and his little villain speeches. Uh, maybe, you know, I, I can't even blame it on the strokes because he had the strokes after all that shit. You know, just to give you a reminder because it's the funniest thing to watch. I just, I like the music. It adds a nice element to it. <laughs> oh, Andy Deceptor says he did, he did it. It fucking work. All right. He needs to be the <laughs> <laughs> I oh, God, I, I just never gets. It's like a horse. It's like a horse or a lawnmower starting. <laughs> honey, honey, you gotta cut the grass. One second. <laughs> Almost got it. Almost got it, babe. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go get those hedges. One second. That was fucked up. Yeah, that was. Of course, it wasn't as fucked up as the second one. Female cop. <laughs> gun drawn. Female cop. Gun drawn. And dog does like it. it... Uh oh. Marcy's having another moment of the sads. My brain not working so good right now. Female Female cop. Female cop. What? What? Why female cop being most? This is. I'm not joking. The parasites from the cat shit are eating his fucking brain. Competent cop on this scene. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Hang on. Having a little bit of a moment over here. <laughs> Gotta get my thinking thoughts straight. Female, female, she 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 showed she showed restraint. I. How bad is Dayton, Ohio? I I I get. A, I'll put my headphones back. I, I... Oh, how about Dayton, Ohio, folks? How bad is how bad is Dayton, Ohio, there, folks? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, are we having technical difficulties? <laughs> Have I been so mean that we're having technical difficulties? One second, folks. I seem to be having a bit of an OBS issue. I'm just checking to make sure everything's working. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. One second, let's see if I can fix it. Okay, let's, let's see if that did it. Hold on, I'm just looking at the back end here and it's not doing nothing for me. They got me. The feds got me. I should be streaming. It should be working. Though I'm not 100% certain. Do I just have to refresh and hope that everything works? Oh boy. <laughs> I bullied Mersh so hard, YouTube had to step in and say, please stop. Please stop bullying him. I should be streaming. Okay, it's, it's showing it's good there. Okay. One second. Let me see if I can get the back end up. And then we're back. We'll, we'll go back to mocking Mersh here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Technical issues, ladies and gentlemen.
Oh, everything's going tits up on me now. Everything's going tits up on me, Chad. I was getting into a groove. Everything was going well. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it's it's still working or not. <sighs> okay, I got I got all right, it, it popped back up. It popped back up. We're still going. We're still going. Oh, Jesus. This man's <laughs> this man's strokes are so powerful. It literally is causing tech issues. He's literally YouTube has buckled under his horse strokes. They couldn't they couldn't handle it. They've literally melted underneath his horse strokes. All right, let me just double check audio. I think we're good. That bully hate me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, good. We're good. All right, we're good. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. The horse strokes will continue. <laughs> let the horse strokes. I'll back it up a little bit because we probably lost a few precious seconds there as things disconnected, but we're good. How bad is Dayton, Ohio? I, 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 I will always forever love that line. It's just the, the idea that he's having a massive stroke. And for whatever reason, Dayton, Ohio can't get out of his head. How bad is Dayton, Ohio? I, I, I get him. I'll put my headphones back. I, I just. <laughs> Dog, doggo doesn't die. Female cop. Gun drawn already, got gun female female other AT, ATF fed feds would have shot dog feds would have shot dog. It's just oh god, there's just something special about that. There's just something something special about it. <laughs> oh man, what a fuck up. Oh, like I said, you know, initially I was gonna have. Uh, different subjects, different people to talk about. Mersh is going to be a portion of that, but he's just gone on for so long. It's been years of it. And then the last three days of it, and then throwing in with people that are associated with 764, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, when you look at it from the outside, it's a dude that's mad at a guy who's dying and selling hats that is now thrown in with people associated with a satanic pedophile organization. <laughs> he's been driven to the depths of madness. By hat sales. By the fact that I'm apparently not dying quick enough for him. I'm sorry, Mersh. I'm sorry you're poor. I'm sorry you owe the IRS money. I'm sorry you lose when you gamble every time you go to Las Vegas. I'm sorry you've totaled three cars. I'm sorry the BMW you bought was really a transgendered Pinto and you got tricked into paying repairs for it. I'm sorry you think big leaguing people is going to a bar and ordering a steak which is like eating a McDonald's hamburger and acting like you're fancy. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to steal cats and run GoFundMes to pay your rent, which you shouldn't have to do because it's Section 8. I'm sorry you haven't found success in your show. I'm sorry that Rumble bots viewers and you have no real audience. I'm sorry you only hit triple digits on YouTube. I'm sorry people don't buy your merchandise. I'm sorry people don't donate to your stream. I'm sorry you're a fat, drug-abusing alcoholic who doesn't have a wife or a girlfriend. I'm sorry you have no friends or family. I'm sorry that your days are filled with loneliness and cat theater that you play out in your apartment at midnight. I'm sorry your pubic bone is an upside-down triangle. I'm sorry God gave you T-Rex arms and you have to masturbate with a couch. I'm sorry you can't last five seconds or longer in bed. I'm sorry that hookers laugh at your penis. I'm sorry that these things have happened to you, but they are not my fault. <laughs> curse God. Curse genetics. Curse nature. Curse the subreddit that laughs at you daily. Curse Pot Awful. But none of those things are my doing. That just sounds like bad luck. <laughs> you have my condolences. The guy dying horrifically feels bad for you, Mersh. Congratulations, you've accomplished something. Now, as the owner of your reputation, I could... You know what? I got a good idea. I know somebody you love, Mersh. You love Jesse from Pot Awful. And since I own your reputation, it's mine now. It's in my possession. I hereby, somebody tell Jesse this, so he knows. I think he'll be excited. He can frame it in a picture frame and put it on his wall. Jesse from Pot Awful, I, Jim Medicker, am giving you Mersh's reputation. Mersh has lost it to me fair and square. 
He bet and he lost, and it's mine. I am giving it freely to you to do with as you please. If you want to sell it, keep it, give it away, rub it on your genitalia, it is yours. You are now the proud owner of Mersh's reputation, given freely by me to you. Somebody be sure to tell Jesse that. Tell him uh, I'm happy to help. <laughs> and uh, make sure that Mersh is aware that Jesse owns that now. And that any time that Mersh wants to talk about reputation or having a reputation or doing something reputable, he has to okay with Jesse first. That's just, it's just something he's going to have to do. <laughs> Let's go, Chad. Let's fucking go. Oh, are you comfortable down there, Mersh? In that hole you dug? You, you feeling good six feet under as I toss the dirt on your fat fucking pineapple head? <laughs> Are you going to wear your sunglasses as I bury you completely? Oh, how embarrassing. It's not just that you were wrong about me being sick. It's not just that I blew you out of the water about it. It's not that just that you look like an asshole for attacking a dying man incessantly because you're angry about his hat sales. It's that all of this culminates with you siding with an insane person, her simps, and a group of satanic pedophiles. And that's all archived. It's all out there. And you literally open up your spiel about it on day one with that. That's who you were cheerleading, you absolute retard. And it sure makes me curious if the reason you hate Gabe Hoffman so much is less to do with him being Jewish and more to him, you know, more with uh, him hunting pedophiles. I'm getting a little concerned. Maybe Jesse can examine your reputation now that he owns it and find out the true facts behind this. He can do a scientific, and like the pee-pee test he likes to do. He can call it Mersh's reputation test. He'll show your reputation pictures of children and see if there's a reaction. <laughs> we'll have to wait for this scientific endeavor to get the full facts of the case. God, what a fat retard. God damn, Mersh, you're dumb. You are so dumb. It's just remarkable how fucking stupid you are. Not even talking about you, not even, even thinking about you, and you just throw yourself, you're desperate for attention. You've got to be just, just the most pick-me of pick-me people on the internet. Oh, there's your attention, fatty. How does it feel? <laughs> Associated with satanic pedophiles and you lost your reputation to Jesse from Pot Awful. Mission accomplished, champ. Real good job. Really lighten up the sky tonight, aren't you? Real beacon of fucking ingenuity. Super smart. <laughs> super smart, buddy. Now, I've got uh, some super chats through Cash App and Kofi. I'll read those close out the uh, stream tonight. Thank you for coming out. Uh, you obviously don't have to stick around for the super chat portion. I know people uh, tend to meander off. Understandable. I hope you all have a great Easter weekend. Hope you all have a good time on, the, what is it, tomorrow, the Trans Day of Remembrance? Remember, it's a new holiday. Gotta, gotta choose. What are you gonna do? It's gonna be an Easter thing or Trans Day of Remembrance, whatever the fuck it is. But I hope you have a great time with your friends and family. Uh, thank you for coming out. Hope you had fun laughing at a fat, retarded man in a green-screened leotard seethe on the internet for multiple days in a row. Happy to deliver that attention. Now, I will change this up. Let me put on the, or we're doing Super Chats thing so people aren't tricked into sticking around. Just one second here. Uh, we'll take a small break. I'm going to go get a drink. I'll come back. I'll read the Ko-Fi and Cash App stuff. Uh, and then we'll close it out. Everybody else, again, thank you for coming out. Have a great Easter. Uh, spend time with your loved ones and your friends and family. Cherish it. Oh, boy. Let me get a little sappy there. But, um, oh, where's a good song to go with here? <laughs> I like how I just called the image Fatty Mersh. I just, it's Fatty Mersh. That's what it is. It's Fat, Fat, Fatty Mersh. But let me get, um, let me get a song here. Oh, I've got the loading break song. I'll play that. All right, so give me a few minutes. Go get a drink. Come back. We'll do the Super Chats. Everybody else, thank you for coming out, and have a great uh, Easter weekend.
Okay. All right. Let's turn off that. I get a little pudding. A little dancing. Oh, God, I love a little dancing pudding. I will try my best to work my way through as many of these as I can. I'll be honest with you. I feel like shit. Uh, but I will work my way through as many as I can. I'll start off with um, Cash App and jump over to Ko-Fi. If I miss yours, I'm sorry. Uh, but Jimmy's got little spurts of energy, and then they disappear. It's kind of like a second win thing. I had a lot of fun uh, playing Tekken with Andy and then going on a couple of uh, streams bullshitting with him. So nice. They put me on some high-strength goofballs. Enjoyed myself then. But uh, it comes and it goes. So we'll do our best. Oh, we've got one here from Michael. I again, because I don't know if people want their full names read or not. I'm just going to go with your first name if you do something through like Cash App or Ko-Fi. Uh, but you know who you are. Uh, from Michael. Uh, wow, you really stuffed that fat fuck into a locker. Uh, put him right in there. We've got one from Mark uh, saying thanks. Well, thank you very much. Let's see. From Noho Bino. Uh, Jim, any good an or anime or manga you can recommend? Well, let me think about it. Uh, I haven't really... You know, mostly I've been doing Gunpla, I'll be honest with you. Um, the reason for it's pretty simple. Listen, my, my hands are fucked up. I, I don't know um, if that is just the result of the rheumatoid arthritis or if that's something else. Uh, they, they said, I can't really do a lot about it, so I'm trying to get as much time in as I can doing some things that I might not be able to do later on. Uh, later on, I could watch anime and manga and read manga. That would be pretty simple. So I've mostly been doing like Gunpla models because I got into that. And I, I still think for like a hobby, that's the most bang for your buck shit you can do. Because you can get like a model kit that's like 20 bucks and then spend fucking five or six hours fucking around with it. And I haven't like gotten to the, the high end shit where people are like sanding stuff down, they're repainting it, you know, when they really get into like the models and stuff. Um, but like the building part of it, you know, I've enjoyed that. So that's kind of what I've been doing lately, to be honest. Uh, from David. Uh, help me. My cat disappeared during the break. Well, did you see a fat man in a leotard? <laughs> Was he running through the streets with a cat under his arm? We've got one from Casey. Uh, thank you for the entertainment. Feel better soon. Thank you very much. Uh, don't worry. I'll try to protect all your identities as much as I can so you don't get put on that list, kiddos. From Hot Cognitions. A happy Easter, cancer man. A Rama Rama for the end song. I can play Rama Rama as the outro. That's not a problem. Uh, we'll do we'll do some Rama Rama. From uh, Gutierrez, probably I probably butchered that. Uh, what happened to the crowd diagnosis video? Uh, well, I was going to do that. I could still potentially do it. Uh, but right now, it just seems... I've reached a point where the specialists that I've gone into won't even do treatments. So, uh, case in point, with the osteoporosis and the multiple bone fractures, um, I think I've, in total, maybe seven ribs have broken and, you know, L1, L2, and L3 um and they've got some concerns about my hips now and so you know i was set up to go and see endocrinology and a few others and i go in to see the doctor and the consensus among the doctors was we may not know what you have but if you go in and see this guy at the very least for the osteo we can give you some medicine that'll help slow it down till we can figure it out i go in to see the osteo guy and um he looks through my my records he reads over it all and uh his conclusion was i can't do anything it's like, I can't, I'm not even going to start you on the most basic of medicines that we would give somebody in this situation for two reasons. One, there's too much going on and I don't understand what this is. It's just too much disease. And two, for your age and the amount of breaks that you're showing, it, it's not even normal for the kind of osteo that you have. So, you know, after seeing specialists and, and seeing that kind of shit and having them basically say, we can't do anything for you at this point, um, talked around to different doctors and the consensus was, either, well, two things. One, go to Mayo and get full genome sequencing or exome sequencing, whatever it is, through Diagnostic Odyssey. And then the second was go into research medicine. So research medicine, like uh, UND, or no, UDN, whatever it is, uh, Cleveland Clinic, and then there's a place out in Massachusetts. It's like this two-month-long process. You've got to get letters of recommendations from your doctors and specialists. You've got to write a letter. You've got to get all your medical records together. And then it's some kind of a thing where you send it in, and it takes them one to two months to look it over and see, do we want to let you into the program or not? You know, are you a fit for it? Uh, so I'm waiting to see how that goes. Uh, if that dead ends, if I don't get in or it dead ends, uh, then fuck it. I'm just going to release, I'll release a video with just all the tests, all the medical shit, and maybe somebody out there is a savant and they can figure it out because it's baffled everybody else. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. It really just makes no fucking sense. 
So that's kind of where that is. So as far as that video, it may or may not be coming up. If I get into research medicine, probably not. If I don't, then you can probably expect to see it come up. And I'll let the internet try its best to blues clues me. <laughs> to blues clues me out of this nightmare. Uh, from the Phantasm, uh, his cats will inherit his face to eat when he dies. That's very true. He'll probably be found being eaten by cats. I could uh, picture that. Uh, for Joshua, I'm broke, but thanks for the years of lull, uh, lulls. Uh, well, I'm glad you've enjoyed the entertainment. Don't worry about being broke. Uh, just enjoy your Easter. From uh, Kenyon, uh, keep living just to piss off uh, Centaur and Rage Pig. Oh, well, I'll eventually drop. I'm sure they'll do a celebration stream. Uh, from Leo, uh, Jim, did you know developers of BG3 forced a hoe? No, I did not know that. I was completely unaware of the uh, hoe forcing. From uh, Jalen, uh, for the sushi fund. Oh, well, thank you very much. Let's see here. I'm just going through. Uh, from Andrew, no message on that one, but thank you nonetheless. From Clinton, uh, again, no message. I'm not sure why is it not showing the messages. Did I fuck up a setting somewhere here? Uh, from Travis, uh, can we buy little bottles of your ashes? Uh, no, I, I intend to be cremated and then just scattered. You know, I'm one of those guys that just likes um, nature. You wouldn't you wouldn't think it, but I do. Uh, so you know, that's that's my that's my farewell. Is I want to have my ashes just. It'll be like that scene from <laughs> the Big Lebowski. I'm sure the the wind blows it right back in everybody's face. I'm God. It probably will happen. As long as it's funny. As long as it's funny, I can appreciate it. Oh, let's see here. From uh, Boober, uh, more dresses for the hats. Uh, thank you for the laughs. I'm glad you enjoyed the laughs. Again, man, I wish they made this easier to do. Uh, from Johnny, uh, your fake my chart makes Mr. Burns blush, Jim. <laughs> I put a lot of effort into that. Thank you very much. Uh, from Conservative. Uh, love you, faggot, and God bless. Well, thank you very much. Let's see here. I'm trying to just pick and choose here to get through. His, uh, let's see here. Oh, Cat Theater. From CPRS, Cat Theater, uh, Gumby sure let himself go. Uh, very true. Gumby got real fat. Got real fat. He got real fat there. Oh, Heather with a big dono. Uh, happy Easter, Jim. Sending you love and prayers. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. From Stephen, uh, you inspire me and many others. Thank you. We love you. Well, I'm glad I inspire you to laugh at a man having strokes on stream. <laughs> you know, take it out of context. I'd come off as the world's biggest asshole. If you were just to clip that, be like, what is this guy's prop? What is this Medicare guy's problem? He's laughing at this poor man having strokes on stream. What a piece of shit. What a, what a son of a bitch. Uh, let's see. From uh, Cassandra, Mersh just needed bigger pussy than him around. Well, he wants to surround himself with nothing but pussy. I, I don't know why he's running around stealing innocent cats. <laughs> I'm sure all the neighbors when a pet goes missing look directly where he lives. Uh, from Jonathan, uh, say hi to Sean, the fat guy, Nick yelled at, please. Uh, hi, Sean, the fat guy that Nick yelled at. Uh, there you go. Glad I could help. From uh, Does This Matter. Uh, have some more smokes on me, Papa Jim. Oh, thank you very much. That was a fun conversation, by the way. You know, when you go in, after you have a heart attack, they give you a list of all these things that you need to do. And um, on it, you know, healthy living stuff, right? Obviously, you want to get you back to prime health, Jim. And so, you know, I was very adherent to it at the start. Um, you know, adjusted my diet, cutouts. You know, I like soda. But they're like, you got to get rid of the soda. So I was like, okay, you know, uh, I'll, I'll switch to flavored water, whatever. And then, you know, you got to adjust your diet. Now you got to cut back on the salt. And I'm sure you, you can imagine the minor things that they want you to do. Cardio therapy, all that kind of stuff. And so I'm being a good little boy and I'm doing all this. And I'm like, you know what? I'll put my best effort in. I you know, get no more cigarettes, no more soda, better diet, do the exercise, just everything. I'm really, you know, I'm gung-ho, take the medicine on time. And then my spine collapses. <laughs> and then the fucking ribs are shattered. And an excruciating pain. And I'm like, oh, you know, what the fuck? Like, help me out here. What, what, what am I? I can't do cardiotherapy, so that's fine. You know, I, I was able to kind of kick off on the, the diet and the, you know, soda and stuff. But God help me. I just love those little cigarettes. 
I just love my little cigarette so much. From uh, Benjamin, uh, my gay friend, for my gay friend. Well, thank you very much. We don't judge here. We all live our best life. Okay? There's no, there's no judgment. We're all good about it. Okay, let me just uh, go through a few more, and then I'll hop us over. I'll hop us over to Kofi. Actually, I think I, I, I'm fucking butchering this. Um, let us jump over to Kofi, and then I will retry Cash App because I'm not good at any of this shit. You know, I know YouTube takes a percentage of everything they do, but YouTube Super Chats made it easy because you could just scroll down the list. <sighs> but I've got to like use this fucking phone and a tablet and do all this other shit. Just a confused old man. Doesn't know how to work technology. Let's see. We've got one from um, Rufus here. Let's see the whole thing. Uh, that personal anecdote was rough. I'm sorry you're going through all this, and thanks for being funny all these years. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Life uh, life, life can be a toughie. Uh, from John, what's your favorite Tomlinson moment? Mine was either when I found he was seriously arguing with a troll account based on his toilet, or when I saw that he gave serious replies to someone who texted him Wookiee noises. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want to, I, I really do want to cover him and a few other people, right? So I don't want to get too into it. Um, but I, honest to God, like I, I'd heard a bunch about him, all the stalker children, you're going to prison shit, the tough guy attitude, uh, you know, his litigious nature, him thinking he's a top dog and all this shit. Um, I did not fully fucking understand or even comprehend or grasp how funny, how funny the entire court saga with him and his bullies were, you know, when he decided to sue, um, I can't remember the guy's name again. I'm very new to this. I'm not even pretending I'm not, but, uh, when he decided to sue the guy that he did and, uh, you know, basically the ONA forums and, and the fact that basically the trolls had like worked their way in to feed him false information to put in his lawsuit, to sink it like that. There was so much involved in that. And that he made such an ass of himself and he wasn't expecting it. And to find himself in a position where the people that make fun of him, that he was going to sue and teach a lesson to, he ended up having to pay, what was it, like $80,000? The initial judgment was what, 30 or 40? And then because of um, all the additional fees and taxes and uh, interest and him dodging shit, it got up to like 80 grand. But the idea that he got tricked, that he got tricked by his bullies into having to pay them $80,000 is the funniest fucking shit I've ever heard. And the fact that even after it happened, he is still out there chiding people, telling them that they're stalker children and that they're going to prison. That is the best shit I've... It's fucking masterful. Um, God, I wish I wish I could remember the name of the channel that I watched. They, they put together like an AI, <laughs> AI voice documentary on like all of his shit. And I'm watching along the first couple parts, like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, I've heard of this stuff, and it's kind of funny. And then it got to that, and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I had no idea that he got fucked that hard. He, he, like, it's legitimately, he's one of the people that's been fucked on the internet probably harder than anybody else. That's what makes it so amusing. And he just, he can't, he just, he, <laughs> he can't take the L. He keeps, like, he just keeps it going. Or, you know, what might be funny, too, is when he got caught on, like, didn't he release a video, home video, of him um, saying that his, his stuff was being vandalized? But when you look at the videotape, it's basically just him. It's him faking a hate crime against himself. It's his fat, slobby ass uh, writing shit on his own motorcycle. Like, he knows where the camera placement and the yard lights are. <laughs> or the fact, oh, my God, you're going to get me talking about this. Or the fact that he was running an Airbnb when he was claiming he was swatted 800 times. Like, how, how, the, how the fuck are you renting out an Airbnb if, like, your guests are getting swat? It doesn't make sense. Okay, I gotta stop, or I'm gonna... We'll, we'll be here too long. <laughs> so, so, oh, god damn, man. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? You know what he... Oh, you know, I'm gonna find this picture. Actually, I've got the perfect picture to sum up his life. <laughs> it's a perfect it's a perfect image okay hold on let me just find it let me let me find it okay okay i got it save image oh no that's uh, come on don't 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 kill me here 
Okay, I think that'll work. Um, okay, so we're talking about like Tomlinson. If I had to sum him up, based on um, the whole adventure with the uh, ONA and the lawsuit and the eighty grand thing, it literally is this. This is this is literally him. This news article is literally him. <laughs> this is literally it. School bully not so tough since being molested. That is literally him. That well, that would be, that would be how I would describe it. That would be it. <laughs> it's so, it's such an awful, such an awful image. The thought of somebody putting that in a newspaper. But that is him. That is him. That is his life. That sums up all his misadventures, almost perfectly. It's a just just perfect summation of him and his stupid shit. Oh my god. Okay, that's a terrible image. Jim, how could you put such an image up? What a terrible thing to do. From Poo Poo Poo, Happy Easter, Jim. Jesus is risen. Happy Easter to you as well. From CNJ Dev. Oh, what's the documentary with the Crisco fisting? Legit curious to see the rest of it. Oh my god, I don't remember the name offhand. I do have it saved somewhere. I will post that up on social media later on. Um, and hopefully you can check it out. Uh, from Dag, no message attacked on that. Rectal man, hello Jim. I'm currently on the toilet bleeding out of my anus. The blood is falling out. Well, that's tragic. Uh, please help me, save me. Tell Jade that I need cleanup. One more thing, would you blow bubbles made of other men's coom? I'm going to coom blowing bubble party, not gay. I'd have to say it's probably a little bit gay. Unless it's at the White House and you're uh, honoring the Trans Day of Remembrance or whatever the fuck it is, in which case, that's not gay. It's okay. The government's giving you permission. From Hatless Harry, Happy Eastern. God bless. God bless to you. Got a couple with no messages. Let's just jump by those. AC, have you heard of Chance Wilkins, a.k.a. Cyrax? Uh, yes, I have. But not one that I've really followed. I've seen a bit here and there, uh, but I haven't really kept up to date on it. I've seen him get into fights. I've seen him get arrested. Uh, but nothing I followed super close. Uh, from Nick, <laughs> Nick Ricada's Delirium uh, Tremens. Never forget, Rich, of Review Texillo's Big Cheese $200. I'm just I'm just amazed that you went with the, uh, the username Delirium Tremens. <laughs> Most people wouldn't know what that Delirium Tremens are, but it works. It's when he's got the shakes. From Platty, he's coughing so bad, I want to call him Emphysema Mersh. Take care, Jim. Thank you very much. Uh, from Pleb, always love your stuff, Jimbo. Rip, uh, my, uh, my J-Ho, who the commies couldn't kill. Uh, hold on, let me see. The commies couldn't kill, but Cancer Tan did. You deserve better. You are, I'm not gay, you are. Probably, probably butchered that. E is for elbow. Smash happy Easter, Jim. Spending it with your family and not with uh, pedo Satanists. Well, you know, that's kind of how I wanted to do it. I thought I could be like Mersh and cheerlead pedo Satanists. Or I could just, uh, you know, spend it with friends and family. Like I'm planning to do on Sunday and on Monday. We got one from uh, Gillian Sneed. All right, all right. I finally bought a hat. Just wanted to say I've enjoyed your stuff for years. I personally think the Rossberg saga was some of the funniest shit on the internet. Hope you and Jade take it easy. Stay safe and take care. Uh, I did enjoy uh, the Ross stuff until it started getting really dark. Uh, the idea that he had access or could have gotten access to kids was really fucked up, to be honest with you. Um, but I, again, I don't know what really happened with him. Um, last I heard, he got put in a home or some kind of care facility to keep him away from, from the normal people. From Gawain Stalker Child, how dare you mention critically acclaimed author Patrick S. Tomlinson. Your life is over, Stalker Child. Enjoy prison. Will he take all my precious pepperoni from me? <laughs> Will he take all, the, all my delicious pepperoni and ride off on his hog? From uh, Tweeter Trash, Mersh sounds double vax and triple boosted. Mersh's horse rants brought, you, or brought to you by Pfizer. Well, that is true. He's never proven that he's not vaxxed. From your hat's hat. Hey, Jim. Well, hello to you. From Sarcastic Madman, uh, Pippa is currently burning $1,000 now live on stream. It's our little Pippa. Hit success. Pippa's, Pippa's reached the point where she's taking out wads of $1,000 bills. What, do they even make $1,000 bills anymore? I don't know. She's, t she's pulling out 20s. She's got a wad of $20, a bunch of 20s, 1000 bucks of them. She's burning it. She's making it. That's the live stream. Just her at a campfire burning money. Throwing her hands up like, what? Do something. I'm fucking Pippa. Buy my shit at Hot Topic. <laughs> I'm big leaguing you all now. Burning a thousand bucks in this campfire. What are you going to do? What? Do something. That's that's Pippa. That's what she's doing right now. From Anime Game 16, I hope you're hanging in there, Jim. My buddy Devin, who runs the Christian Daily. 
Uh, News just refuses to accept the fact that he's a low count. Maybe if he hears it from you, he'll finally come to terms with the fact. Oh, no. I've already, I'm already in fights with so many people. I don't want to pick a fight with your friend as well. Remember, you know, Mersh still has to hand over his reputation to me. I've got to deliver it to Jesse. I'm a very busy man. <laughs> from Zig Zex, uh, please forgive my co-host. From Belligerent Brian, by the way, I was actually sat with a col or colleague who's a paramedic while watching the streams where you showed Mersh having horse seizures. They, rec they reckon he's suffering from hypoxia. Uh, do with that as you will. Also, Mersh is fat and gay. Uh, hypoxia, that's the one where you, uh, right, it's like low blood oxygenation. Is that it? Like silently suffocating. Is that, am I getting that right? I'm not sure what set off his horse seizures. I really don't know what, what's going on with him, but apparently something. Oh, McCru or McGruff, the crime dog. Can you speculate on a viable redemption arc for Jack Murphy? I don't. <laughs> Listen, the dude got busted with pussy hooks. Like, and, you know, the amount of sex scandal surrounding the Alpha Chad and Manly bullshit. And then he, he flipped out on all the cuck stuff. I don't know. I, I, I think it's time to rebrand. Maybe not a redemption arc, but a rebranding. Or maybe you could life coach Mersh. <laughs> you could get paid in cats. Uh, from Bill, thanks for the lulls. Well, thank you very much. From James, uh, Mersh called you out for being sacrilegious, yet begged his fans for money to fuck a hooker on Christmas. Well, you just gotta, you gotta love the, the gumption. You gotta love the gumption of the guy. Oh, let's see here. We've got one from Mamoru. Uh, Roman chapter 10. If you believe in Jesus, or if you believe Christ is Lord and God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Too late to save your body, but save your spirit instead. Well, thank you very much. From Lord of S'more. Jim, we all know why you haven't dropped dead. Laughter is the best medicine and you have tards to laugh at. Also, pure spite helps. <laughs> I guess I a little bit of spite thrown in there with a little bit of laughter. Uh, it does some wonders. From Dark Libra Moon 74. Uh, sorry to hear that you have cancer. I lost my mom to breast cancer and hope you know what's uh, and hope you get to know what's going on. And they find the cure. Uh, you rock Medicare. It's a big event. Whenever you stream, you're an awesome guy. Uh, your wife is lucky to have you. Uh, well, thank you very much. And I'm sorry to hear about your mother. Um, I know that's tough. I went through, my mother didn't die of cancer, but I know what it's like. Um, but thank you. From Jinx. Uh, hold on one second here. So I try to load it. Uh, from Jinx. Uh, have another bit of cash. If you want to disprove Mersh's claim of being a Fed, literally just say, I denounce the Talmud and I acknowledge the existence of the Israeli nuclear arsenal. Feds literally aren't allowed to say that. If you did, you're not a glowy. Oh boy. Did you just put me on a watch list? Am I now on a watch list for that one? I denounce the Talmud and acknowledge the existence of Israeli's nuclear arsenal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, shit, sound the alarms. We're all going to fucking prison. I can't protect you with my magical fed powers now. We're all fucked. Jinx got us. I should have known by the name. Jinx has jinxed us. You got me. I can hear Gabe Hoffman screaming from the other end of the country now. What have you done, Jinx? <laughs> all our plans have gone asunder. Uh, from Ghost, where's my tit, be <laughs> tit beast hat, Jim? You said you'd make one during the streamy about gang stalkers. <clears throat> oh, that is true. I did talk about doing a tit beast hat. I don't know if they let me make. I could make a tit beast hat. It would just say tit beast. But are you going to actually wear that in public? Listen, like with the four star hat, most people like that's so. It's so neutral. Like somebody seeing that would think, oh, maybe that's like a, a video game thing. Or, you know, like a, a cop thing, maybe, or some kind of show thing. Like, there's, there's nothing specific about it. If you didn't know what it was, you'd never guess. But if I write the word tit beast on a hat, you're going to have to, like, you're going to walk into a restaurant. You're going to walk by little old grandmas and people with their kids. You know, you're going to tip the hat at them. How you doing? Tit beast. It's, it's going to be a conversation starter at the very least. Well, let's do a few more here. Before my voice completely goes to shit. Uh, from Valkyrie, if nothing else, I hope they figure out what the fuck's afflicting you entirely. Love you, Jim. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. That's a big one. There's a big uh, $300 uh, dono from Ko-Fi supporter. Uh, I've been thinking about it lately. Let me read this entirely. It's a lot of money. I've been uh, thinking about life lately. What makes life worth living? Tonight, you helped me come a little closer to that answer. Thanks, Jim. Uh, also, you've always been one of my favorite streamers. Never stop fighting, and I hope this uh, helps you uh, uh, helps you a little bit. And Jade, 
Well, if you'll help her. <laughs> I'm just over here with my little $20 gun plus. I'll put that in the nest egg. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Uh, let me go through a few more here. Uh, Sparky's Tech Corner. Uh, sucks hearing all the medical stuff, but it's good to see you still stream. Raising the last to you and Jade. All the best. FY, Jade, uh, FY like Jade's edits and art she's been doing. Oh, uh, yeah. She's been having a lot of fun doing that, which I'm happy for. I'm glad she's got a hobby that she really likes. Um, I suck at editing and art and music, uh, which is why I love uh, AI so fucking much. Oh, my God. It makes all the idea guys have a chance. Oh, it's a flood of idea guys now with AI. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, she's really she's really gotten into that. All the drawing shit and all that stuff. Uh, and, like, song editing and stuff. Uh, you've all seen my failed attempts at it in videos past and streams. I got a few good jokes in there, but I've never been good at it. All right, let me read a few more here. I'll jump back over to Cash App, and then uh, we'll, we'll close it out. Uh, from Gas the Bikes, race uh, more now. Uh, Jesus, Jim, I knew you had cancer AIDS, but until you're uh, put your dick on the glass tonight, I had no appreciation for how fucked you are. I don't usually simp for your girls, but uh, go buy your uh, hot Asian wife something nice. Uh, well, thank you very much. Another one uh, from, another big one from uh, Shred Moons. Hey, Jim, loved when you and Porcelain had a chat about Mersh a few years back. Any chance you guys could do it again for his upcoming documentary on that uh, fat idiot, or I'm sorry, that idiot, Patrick Tomlinson? Um, I know he's doing one about it, and I, I think he's asked, or other people have. Uh, like with the, the Mersh thing, I, I did have a lot of fun doing that, don't get me wrong. Uh, but with Tomlinson, like, I'm still so very new to it, I feel like I'd fuck it up. Like, he had to kind of explain, like, I knew Mersh stuff, but he had to explain, like, lore to me. But, like, with Tomlinson, outside of one or two things... Um, I've had to learn like everything. And I did that through, was it cryptic web series? I'm not sure who it was, but somebody put together a really fucking great like documentary series that covered a ton of it. Um, but I feel like I still don't know enough. Like he's again, being forced to pay your bullies is the funniest fucking thing I've ever encountered. How he lives that down, how he's not driven off the internet and <laughs> shame over that. I will never know, but he's still out there chiding people. It's just, he just doesn't give a fuck. It's, it's, kind of remarkable to be honest you'd think you'd think he'd be like i got it fuck i call it quits at this point uh we'll do uh dark brandon can i get a shout out for uh Renix on youtube for covering the scp pedos you mocked back in 2018 hope your cancer gets cured in the 11th hour and that's a uh, red x with r-e-d-d-x apparently they're covering uh scp is there shit going on with them uh, i wouldn't doubt it uh, they were doing somersaults too on the internet oh jim's boy they're still mad about that video there are people from the SCP wiki and shit. We're doing some. Oh, he's going to fucking die. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Seriously fucking mad. Serious big time mad. Uh, from the Phantasm. Can you become Christian so we can laugh in heaven? Well, it's very sweet of you. <laughs> it's very, it's very sweet of you. I'll try to shout loudly from hell so you can hear my punchlines. From Smokey McCrack. Uh, no message on that. Or, or oh, uh for goat jim 100 thank you oh, let's see here from vincent uh thank you for the donation not not a message though i'm trying to try to read messages so people don't think i'm skipping over them we got one from stacy here uh this is for jade's hard work for the songs uh great oh yeah she's had a lot of fun doing those uh again when it comes to me i can't image edit for shit and i can't fucking uh do song stuff i i'm not artistically inclined at all i have no ability at that shit at all um, she seems to, or at least have a grasp of it. She has way more shit than I can do. Oh, then we're back to Michael. Uh, you stuffed that fat fuck in a locker, which, uh, yes, I did. I stuck him in a locker and I took his fucking, uh, oh God, what was it that he gave me? His reputation. <laughs> his reputation. That's what he bet. Okay. My voice has gone to shit. I feel like kind of crappy. Thank you for everybody that donated. If I missed yours, I really am truly sorry. Thank you for donating. If you bought a hat, thank you very much. Uh, otherwise, thank you for coming out to the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great Easter with your friends and family. Um, again, Marsh, you silly, stupid fucker. What a dum-dum. I, I don't know what you're doing. But I enjoyed blowing your ass out of the water. That was fun. It's good times. Good times. Happy, fun, good times. Thank you for that. You've bought me another another week of life. <laughs> Laughing at your stupid fat ass. Thank you very much. Uh, everybody else, have a good weekend. Take it easy. I will see you when I see you. Uh and uh, sorry, I couldn't give you that death date, Marsh. You'll just hold your breath. Just hold your breath, champ, until it happens. 
And uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll come true. Now, I did promise a guy earlier on asked, can you play Rama Rama on the way out? And I will do that. Uh, just give me one second to pull it up. Is it still up? My God, can you believe that Rama Rama, don't be Rama Rama by the Warburton community members, is at 411,000 views. Do you ever think that, like, back in the day they thought, you know, one day this is going to have nearly, our song about sniffing petrol is going to have nearly half a million views. I bet they never, ever fucking imagined it. But now they're like superstars. I wonder if they get stopped in the streets. <laughs> like, aren't you that Rama Rama guy? I've heard that Rama Rama song. That's some pretty dope shit. Just set this up. Uh, there we go. So we'll let Rama Rama play us out. And uh, have a happy, happy Easter weekend. Say you